wait for the transition. Oh, there it is. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the delightful Lynn the Albarian. We're all here. We've got a busy week ahead of us as well. Uh, first off, Tuesday, Into the Madness with Vaughn. He's playing Crypto the Necro Dancer. That's at one o'clock every Tuesday from now on. He loved it. I loved watching it. So it was great. Fun. Uh, then Wednesday, playing with Mats, me and Vaughn, as always. Continuing in Valheim, we're into the seafaring, building a second location, and my best mate's invaded my world and is building a base, and we don't know where it is. Delightful. So exciting. Very exciting. Uh, yeah. Thursday is me and Skepti. We're playing Keyforge. We got a whole box of the new expansion, so new decks of our own. Uh, that's 12 individual decks that we're going to be playing through, so a lot of new content. That is going to be a blast. And then Friday, Hate, Laugh, Love. It's me again. I'm in the hot seat this time around presenting a film. We've got, so far, oh, yeah. Ethan, Prospectus, and uh, actually Skepti again. My best mate here, he's hopping in to mm -hmm. be in a seat for that one. Who else? That's still TBD. And Saturday, we might do something different again. We'll see what happens. But today, why I brushed through that all really quickly is because we're all very eager to see what happens next and what's yes, we are. going to happen. If you want our schedule, check that schedule page. It's all up to date, everything we do. And then click the next week as well, because we do some things that are on one week off the other week. So take a look into that. We do a lot of different content, so not just D&D, but that's what we're here to primarily do is be geeks and play D&D. So why don't we get to it? I totally skipped intros. I'm Murray. These are the players. Praspidus, mm. Yolandri, or Brolog, Zarai, and Anubisai. And hopefully they're not going to die this week. Uh, I'm just going to put... Uh, Hey, that would be cool. Let's see. Stream with both Yolandro and Ethan at the same oh, time. Oh, multitasking. That's what we call multitasking. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. That beautiful voice was uh, Peter, who plays our wonderful Brologue. He does the intro and the outro. So you'll get to hear Woo. it again. Yay. Last okay. time, when we left everyone off, they had managed to find their way into a dungeon of some kind, or ruined city that was stumbled upon by the Reclorians. Lady Galani promised that she would help them clear their name of all the mischief that they've gotten into on their way to the town of Yark, which yeah. led them into the... Mm, yeah, I was going to say, no Yark. one's going to do it today? I was really hopeful for a second, but no. No, you're never going to get away with it. I... Continuing on, <laughs> they traveled to the mountain Perth, entered these runes, Fought a lot of undead, which surprised Lady Galani because she'd never seen undead before, as magic is not a thing that's really purveyed or used in Andrea, though apparently it exists. Now they are getting to a section that seems to have Lady Galani a little on edge, as she knew exactly where to go. 
saying that they should go to that direction and then explore later if they have the time. We will jump in at that point. You are all about to walk up Roll these initiative. stairs okay. <laughs> when <laughs> Brolog and Praspitus, your sight disappears. Ah, it has been an hour since the casting of that night vision. Your vision is gone. And it is complete blackness. The void. Can you cast it again? No. Not until I take a long rest. So you, you're going to have to let me know in character that you can't see. Because I haven't been... Well, Price Produce is going to stop immediately the moment his side goes out and go, uh, you're on drill. That uh, spell you cast earlier is um, gone. Hey, it is. It's gone for me as well. I'm going to say, ah, okay. And then just hold up my halberd and use the light cantrip. How efficient is that? What's that do exactly? Um, let me click on it. While I try to find a environment uh until the spell ends the object i touch sheds bright light in a 20 foot radius in a dim light for an additional 20 feet the light can be colored as you like completely covering the object with something opaque blocks the light a disco ball what color mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's going to be like silver Moon themed light. Uh, anyone got a torch? Do we do we hear twinkling noises in in the background? No. <laughs> it's it's silent like the cold deadness of space. <laughs> all right, that should kind of be silence. fixed for you all. Your laundry and brolog, you should only be able to see from from you mean yeah yes prologue and praspitus you should only be able to see from your laundrial's light that he's now casting and emitting from his blade uh right after he does that i'm gonna pull a torch out of my bag produce flame light it up and hand it back just like hand it to who the hand it back to your back grab it no just hand it to someone who doesn't have dark vision because we're all like right we haven't got up the stairs yet right yeah, you haven't quite just yet. Yeah, so I'm Anubis just handing a like to torch, have the torch. Just handing a torch back, just like. So Anubisai like, takes it from the invincibles there, and is the one who. Uh, so you only have one hand, Anubisai. Yeah. Okay, you've got a torch in one hand. Yep, and I'm putting my other hand in the torch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, now he figures it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. As we walk up the steps, and we'll see if Lady notices it. <laughs> A stump over flame. Uh, does, that, uh, does that regenerate the whole arm, or do you have to absorb the metal to grow your arm? No, that, re- that regenerates completely from the damage. Nice. That's cool. So just, That's disturbing. I'm what... Yeah, it's just yeah, disturbing. Well, um, the person I dealt the most damage to, fully healed up now. <laughs> Good job, me. Also, um, how how obvious? I it depends I, if you're looking at it. I guess if you're looking at it, it's very obvious that it grows back. Uh, between I the mean, flames, you can kind of see a hand reform. It's a like it's a torch. torch. Mm-hmm. It's dark. Yep. Aren't very many other things for me to be looking at. So the rest of the party has seen it before. I've seen it. Of course, hadn't yet. And we are at the campfire. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, he was much, asleep. He was asleep, yeah. Pretty much everyone has seen it for the most part. Now. Except for Lady Gyandu. Who seems to be very focused on the stairs. Okay. She cool. is a. Uh, completely missed that you've regenerated your hand. And then once Herbal. it's done, I will hand it back to somebody else who needs a torch. Prolog will take the torch. Okay, bro. We all have torches. Oh, yeah, I have torches. I'm going to light another torch. Same Why? way, and I'm going to pass it to Lady Kalani. 
She okay. is not going to take it. She will look at you and say, uh, thank you for the offer, and then show that she's got a shield in one arm and a, short, a sword in the left, and my hands are full, though. I take the rope, but I tie it out to her shield. She does <laughs> not let you. Damn. All right. As Here soon as you start trying, there is a quick... <laughs> as Ralphie blinks her 30 feet away from you on the other side of the laundry. It's like, don't try to do that without asking. No trying to help. touchy. No touchy. Hey, I get you're trying Percy to help, but ask before you just do. It's called requesting, Zara. Permission. He's just used to paying so, for it. That but you there, Ubisai. <laughs> you bitch. I'm going to get to the front of the stairs and start to go up the stairs. Galani joys after. Hmm. Uh, starts going up the stairs as well, and where you find yourself is where you see yourself now. Boop. Eventually, having reached the top of the stairs, you find yourself in a room. Also constructed. Definitely cut stone. A new beside. You can give me a perception if you'd like for any of that script that you've been looking for. Ah, teaser. Cheated. It's a teaser. 11. 11. There is what would be, a, what would have had been at one point a, a transcribe or chiseled in block where some script may have been at some point, but it's all very faded away at this point. It's a little dwarvish? You can't tell with how faded it is. Mm. Okay. We'd be at the top of the stairs now, going uh, around. Can I just uh, roll a procession check, just like I've been doing on the left or right yeah. before? Just like kind of just seeing if there's differences in the ground or anything. Okay. Uh, 15. 15? Uh, there is no difference from what you can tell on the ground. There's no change or they, they look identical. The two <laughs> pathways look very Burlock, identical. What are you doing? <laughs> he is just venturing forward. Lady Galani is actually going to be joining Brolog. Uh, so I guess that's the direction they go. Brolog, as she's riding next to you, go ahead and give me like a, an insight. I'm going to say excuse me, guys. And I'm going to take the lead. 19. 19. She is not very focused or... She can't really tell that you're there. She is merely riding in an empty space in front of her, very focused on the path ahead. Uh, can I roll for stealth and then try to sneak around the corner and see if there's uh, see if I can see anything? Go for it. Give me that stealth first. 26. Oh, 19 for you. Uh, and then a, give me that perception. Nine. <laughs> and it continues. Nine. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. I don't see anything. Far. You do not see anything. I'm just going to keep <laughs> slowly flying along ahead like we have been before. If anyone else wants to do perception checks as well, you absolutely can. I'm moving forward. I've learned a long time ago that's unnecessary. Fourteen. Fourteen. Your laundry all, as everyone else is moving ahead of you, you see that just in front of Steve, he's flying over a very thin wire that's not triggered by anyone who would fly over it, but would be triggered by someone who treads over it. I care, I'm moving ahead. I'm gonna say out loud, everyone stop. And whether or not they respond is up to them. Percy immediately stops. 
Galani stumbles a little on top of Ralphie and then looks behind. Like, what? Triple one. Looks down. Ah, shit. Almost triggered that as well. Good eye, Landriel. And then quickly steps. Actually, she blinks next to Zara. Mm. Now that he's pointed just... it out, you can pass over without triggering it. Okay. I'm gonna get, like, right. Yeah, I'm just gonna do the same thing. I don't want to peek around before, but same thing. Stealth per into perception. Stealth 22. into perception. 22. That's for stealth. Okay, perception. Six. The trend continues. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> uh. Is this the path to left, or is it just really weird? On my it's not a path to door. left. Okay. Uh, five feet. Oh, I'm gonna stop right here. I'm waiting for someone. She continues forward a bit. You know what? And you beside, can people happens. can people actually communicate at all with you telepathically? Nope. Nope. Okay. Immune uh, to psychics. Dirty twenty perception. Okay, dirty twenty perception. Praspitus, I need you to make a wisdom check. You've heard the voices <clears throat> now. Let's see if you can tune them in. I got a nat twenty on that wisdom Ooh. check. So twenty one. <laughs> Oof. You can save 15% with <laughs> As he quickly changes the music. Roll initiative. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Once you get to this point, you turn the corner and you see this doorway. And you can hear these whispers begin to build in your head. You can't quite first make out what they're saying just yet, but they are clearly there. Galani stops, um. looks back at you. You can hear them too. I'm gonna you? walk up to her. I'm pretty sure whatever that whispering is, it's Magus. I was wondering why I couldn't understand the language. Makes a lot more sense now. It feels Yeah, something's going on here. And I don't I don't like it. Well then let's find out. Uh I'm I'm gonna put the torch down on the ground. Yo. Okay. And uh both my hands are now on my sword. Okay, both your hands are on your sword. Uh, that removes your light. Boop. Boop. She looks at you, Zarai. You've got the best vantage point. What do you see? I see what it looks like. A tree of sorts? Or cracks in the ground? I'm torn between which. Uh, it's a tree. I see a tree with bright orange and what the yellow, cannon. <laughs> yellow leaf. Uh, so... Oh dear. Did my connection just... buff it? Or is that me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that's My me. Connection is also yep. That is me. Ooh, yeah. I beat that. Oh, in general. Pause. Oh, we're just right. Oh, wait, we're back. I think we're back. Uh, okay, okay, right, cool. Okay. Right, a little internet spike. It's been a little while, but. It is. Okay, yeah. It's about to have another one. Everyone wave. We're good. The pain. Uh, 
The pains. The Brilliant. Pain. We we all had problems there though. That was Discord. Okay. Yeah, that was yeah, Discord. That was Discord having a hiccup. Mm -hmm. Delightful. Right. To give you a better description of what you've got there, because um, yeah, I'm just gonna move forward. Is this so I can no? No. Don't just yet. From what you see on your side, as you peek your head around, there are branches that move out and down and round. A few of them have this yellowish tint and orange color to it, but as you focus, you realize that there are red veins pumping through the, the leaves. You see that the bark itself is pitch black, and where you might see sap in places, instead you see a thick kind of blood dripping from that location. This Zarai is very clearly the tree you saw in your dream. I keep it to myself except for the explanation of it all to everyone else. Like, I'm not going to say I've seen it before, but... I also need you to make a wisdom check. It's an eight. <laughs> I'm dropping. Okay. Yep, here it comes again. Discord might be having trouble today. Uh, we can try to switch this, or we can switch our servers. I think that might help. Going to the Midwest instead of the West Coast. You did you catch that? You mean it? I was sending a message whenever uh, Discord had a, a difficulty, so I'm going to be sending you all messages through the phone if I have to send you a message. Okay, also, if it happens one more time, uh, you can change servers. Yes, I caught that. Oh, you do? Okay. <laughs> so that, that will most likely help. Anyway. Wait. Carrying on. The tree. Orange and yellow tints. Blood? Black bark. It's my relaying she, everything you told me to them. She looks at you with a bit of a weird look. Like, what? And then pokes her head around. Right. Okay. And proceeds to walk in. I'm following. I hope it's deep next to me. Maybe you got some space there. Before you all, inside this cavern, there are same kind of deal that you've seen. It may look semi like a throne room if it were not for the large tree that has grown out of the ground. It is black in its bark, has twists and knots all over it, looks deformed and gross in many ways. The trees have an orange-yellow tint to it, kind of fire-like, but when you pay a little attention, they pulse as if Veins were pulsing through it with a red crimson. Give me some perception checks. All of us? Yes. I assume this isn't a smelling type of situation. No, this is sight. Fifteen. Fifteen? Nineteen. Nineteen. Ooh. 19. Okay. Nine. Nine. Two. Two. That's synchronicity right there. <laughs> that was too clean. That was beautiful. That was quite gorgeous. Galani actually she would have Of course. Uh, everyone who got a fifteen and up, so Praspitus, Yolondriel, and Zarai. About five feet up in the center of the main trunk of this tree is a stone. A stone that seems to be wrapped 
semi inside the bark, but is still peeking through. It looks like you're looking at the night sky. It twinkles as if it has stars inside and has a semi-coloration of the celestial gases that move through space. When you see it, you all hear, well, the two of you, hear in your voice. What brings you, you, to a home? Was that in the whispers? No, that was in your head. Oh. So, uh, so Brolock didn't see us down. Did he not hear the whisk that either? Brolock has not heard it. Okay. But those who did see the stone, so Zorai, Praspidus, and Yolondriel, they all heard it. I'm going to look at the group. I'm, um... I'm actually going to look around and, uh... In a little bit of confusion. I'm going to take a very small drink of my cast flax. This is scaring me. Just because it's, uh, I'll take a... Then I'm, I'm going to finally say out loud. Uh, what exactly are we doing here? I don't see anything um, to kill. Yeah, why are we here? Lady Galani steps forward. She runs on Ralphie up to the trunk. Reaches out a hand, puts it on the tree. We're here for this. It's in there. I need to find it. Find what? His friend. When she says that, there's a black blob that moves up a little on her hand, reveals, and then slips back underneath her sleeve. They call for each other. They want to be united again. Okay, I'm going to take a real hard look at the rest of the party, like, uh, what's this? Uh, Grolog uh, whispers as best he can um, to Persephidus uh, and says, should I put her down? Uh, oh, no, 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 not, no. You have I, uh, not, not answered. Um, Pr Prespidus is going to walk up to the trunk, uh, standing next to Lady Galani, and he's going to look directly at the stone and say, the uh, individual standing beside me has a friend, a friend who has been called to another friend. And then I'm going to look at Lady Galani. Can you hear this stone whispering to you? Real quick, seeing as I cannot send messages. Zarai, mm -hmm. I need a wisdom saving throw from Steve and Brolog. I need you to give me a wisdom saving throw. Is this a, a, a charm or frightening situation? You are not enraged. Uh, that's a racial trait. That's a racial trait. Yeah. Yes. Locked on Serenity. Fifteen from Steve. Fifteen from Steve. Yeah. Eight. Eight. Oh dear. Oh dear indeed. All right. The, uh, so Lady Galani, to your response, 
I'll let you know what I was all for later. To your response, looks at you and is like, stone? Not the stone, no. Although I can hear the whispers from the tree, though I've tried to tune those out. Okay, so who is talking then? I, and Grasby are... just looks at the tree and, and then says, Who is we? Those, those of us who have died. Those that came before in this this ruin that we've been gallivanting through. Those that fell, fell for millennia around. Not not just in here. Wait, not just in here? Not just in there, yes. I want to get a closer look at the stone. Um, I'm going to turn back to Lady Galani and I'm going to ask, so do you know what your friend is looking for or whom your friend is looking for specifically? Because I, I get the feeling there's more than one set of individuals amongst us at the moment. Not specifically. It just keeps saying, take it, take it, take it. But what is it? Honestly, I'm beginning to think it's the stone. I was just about to say the same thing. I'm going to turn back to the tree. And I'm going to ask, what is the significance of that which is within this tree's bark? Purpose. We serve a purpose. purpose. Does it need to stay in the bark? Yes. Fuck that. It's not staying in the bark. I'm taking it. Ralphie, help me up. Ralphie yeah, begins to help up as... Zorai, you prosperous, go ahead and give me some perception checks, quickly. Anubis, I, you as well. Uh, as you, you guys take those, oh, as you guys oh, take Lord. those perception checks, uh, the my light hand trip goes out. <laughs> what was that, Jeff? Remember, I really don't pay attention to the things. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. I got an eight. Okay. What was yours on Ubisoft? Nine. Nine. Oh, we're so we're so perceptive right. today. I'm looking at Prologue. Oh, oh that wisdom check was for a possession. You failed. <laughs> so I need yes. you to make an attack roll against Peraspitus and Yolandriel, I need you to attack Zarai. This Zar is a surprise. Not her. Round. Zara. Can I not attack her? Okay, well, I'm real sorry, because this was the plan actually uh, <laughs> for her, so... You, that would make more sense, actually. It would be her. She is posing a much more straightforward okay. attack. Or That's threat range on that one. And you have okay. the, the reach weapon, so... After yeah, that, we're roll can be caught in the crossfire. Okay. Roll uh, like, rolls an 11. Oh, oh wait. No, rolls an, uh, an 11 to hit. Yeah. Okay. okay, that I do believe misses. Okay, I rolled for guiding bolt a twenty-one. Uh, just a hit. straight attack roll, no spells. Oh, just a straight yeah, attack. Just a straight attack. Well, roll. Never mind then. And we. Nat twenty. A natural for twenty. 25. Yeah. Okay. First nat twenty on. Uh... <laughs> Uh, yeah. D&D Beyond? <laughs> First one on D&D Beyond, so... I'm about to yeet her. <laughs> that... Let's see. 
So let me take a look at her sheet. I don't think there's anything she can do about that. There is nothing, so... Roll for damage, good sir. Remember, multiply the dice by two, then add your modifier. Um... I'm gonna have to roll differently. One second. Right, while he's figuring out that damage, I'll describe yep, to you what just happened. So, Praspitus, as you're looking. Ooh. Yes. Sorry. Uh, last. Br Brolog was holding a torch rather than his axe. I don't he know would have drawn matters. his axe. Okay. Yeah, he would have drawn his axe. So would, he, would I have dropped the torch then? Wait, that was wrong. Probably, yes, actually. You would have. There's a double-handed axe. Yeah, okay. you would have dropped the, axe, the, the torch. So the torch okay. is on the ground in that spot. So, Praspitus, as you see Lady Galani start climbing up, of Ralphie as Ralphie starts to climb up the area, you just see the flash of Yolandriel's halberd come in and stab straight into her side. To your 13. 13 points of damage, you hear her yelp, but just as quickly as his blade flashed into her side, it gets in about an inch or so and then gets stopped by this black ooze that wraps around the blade and ceases its progress. That's when Brolog's axe gets brought down, just narrowly missing you, as you turned just outside of his range. To your surprise, your allies are now attacking you all. I need everyone to roll initiative. Yeah, uh, in response, my, uh, my words, what I say is, I'm getting really sick of this. <laughs> <laughs> also, when you look back at Brolog, but both their eyes are paled over to a very strange degree. But when you look at Brolog, he looks older. Well, let me know when you're ready for those initiatives. Yes, I will let you know in just a second here. I, need to make I am sure liking this, my... this music, by the way. It is really oh. setting the mood. It's quite suspenseful, isn't it? Good, okay, that oh. looks fine. Just so you guys know, when you roll, when you roll a nat twenty on like a hit, D and D Beyond automatically doubles your dice for you, so you oh, don't have cool. to. Because oh. I messed up and I was I rolled two D tens, not thinking, and then I was like, oh wait, that's cool. Okay, yeah, that's so, real cool. All right, so let me put in that thirteen points of damage as well. Because uh, nice. Very good. Right, Yolandriel. Mm -hmm. Initiative. 17. 17. Uh, Paraspitus. 8. 8. Rolog. 20. 20. It's all right. 17. 17. Uh, Zarai's got the higher decks, I know that. Uh, Anubisai. 16. 16. Galani got a delightful 9. And... Okay. Uh-oh. I don't like that look. <laughs> so, Brolog, you're up first. Take another swing at Praspitus. Get him. Get him. His save, or if, if he has a save to possession, it's on their turn, isn't it? Might be. Ten. Ten. <laughs> Brolog <laughs> takes another wild swing at you, but completely misses. He looks... I am getting lucky. He's not enraged. Like, this is not a raged Brolog. This is just an angry Brolog. 
there is something behind him that's making him aggressive towards you specifically right now. Brolog, that will be your turn. There's going to be no movement. Zorai, you are up. I am going to pull out Kane's lucky dagger, fly out to the stone, and try and take it out. And I know it's going to probably attack of opportunity, right? That, uh, so flying up to the stone would get you there. I don't know why that happens. Lady Galani is actually technically there. That, okay, oh, then no, I she's, should be like right here. Yes, you right? should be like right there. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, I that, wanted to look at the stone before all this so, went down. So, fun thing about, um, the, the reach weapon is no, that does not provoke an attack of opportunity because you are still within your Londriel's reach. All right. I want to yep. try and take that uh, dagger and try and pry out the. Okay. Give me an attack roll. I'm for you next, boy. You better hope all I can do is hit you with this halberd. <laughs> and you better hope these these ghosties can't figure, don't figure out that I can fly. So that's plus. Dex and proficiency. 14. 14. Your dagger, when you bring it down, it hits the bark, but you just hear this solid chink as it's wedging in between two plates of metal. You can't get it into the bark. I don't know if you said uh, anything, but we cannot hear no, you. No, I'm not. Because <laughs> <I, I'm... laughs> uh, that, 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 was, that was my attack, right? So I can't really do anything else. But I will have Steve come over to your Landriel and hit him with the sting attack. Sting attack? Okay. 14 doesn't hit. Nope. 14 does not hit. And he's going right back to his corner. All right. 60. Perfect. And that doesn't provoke an attack of opportunity because Steve has the flyby trait. So he can literally just whip in and try to do his nonsense. Stinking Steve. I was a ranger once. I was a ranger once for In another three world. weeks. <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, it is your laundry next. Okay. Uh, given well, that's all I can do is swipe. <laughs> given the the recent action, Zarai would be the target. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is to visualize for you guys. So I've like stabbed in like this to her. I'm gonna do this thing where I change my grip swing underneath like this we re-grab it pull it out and then swing back around to hit zarai right in the center of the back that is my plan okay give me an attack roll 17. <laughs> that hits what do you think <laughs> that was a good plan That's 11 good points plan. of damage 11 points of damage. Ouch! Zara, you feel your Londriel's blade get slammed into your back. You get dragged across in the flesh open, pouring out new blood down your pants. That hurt. As I come through, I do it with enough speed and force that your blood, like, slink right it's off the blade as I go for going. my next... Yeah, exactly. Uh, you're not going to move anywhere. You're in a... Actually, yeah. Yeah, you're in a good spot. Oh, yeah, I can hit both of these guys no matter... If, yeah, like, unless they go good, around the tree. <laughs> real good spot. So, Anubisai, it's you. Quick look around to see if there's anything else coming. Give me a perception check. Fourteen. Fourteen. There's not... So I'm basically in the hallway. You don't see anything coming. 
There's nothing else in the hallway, from what you can see. And I shall move to about... Oops. That's why I can't move. I'm on the wrong (laughs) There. Then I'm happy to watch the carnage. Watch them do this and fighting in amongst themselves. Yeah, it's this party. And I, I'm not going to attack them. Right. In that case, I need. I need Steve to give me a wisdom saving throw. Oh no. Well, this could be a lot worse if I was able to be possessed. <laughs> At twelve, the hate flow through you. Twelve. <laughs> All right. You want to know what what's the, like the worst part about me being possessed? I want you guys to know on my screen when I rolled the dice in D and D Beyond, it was on a nat twenty, right? Bounced, and then landed on eight, and I was like, <laughs> "Cool, <laughs> cool." Well, Zorai, there is a momentary flash of panic that Steve sends your way, and then the connection seems to cease. Prospitus. I do believe it is my no. turn. Actually, it's Lady Galani. She got just okay. one higher than you. She got a nine. Mm-hmm. You're last in the initiative uh, ranking. Uh, Lady Galani, she looks looks around and is like, I don't know why they're attacking you, but here. Kind of shoves her sword into you, Zorai. I wanted to call you a laundry for some reason. Into to you, Zorai. And it's like, take this. I've got a better idea. You take it, and she looks at it and is like, I'm going to be vulnerable, so you better protect me. Lifts out her hand, and the black ooze swarms forward, connects a column straight to where the gem is, and you start hearing this slight... (coughs) It's going to take a while for me to do this. Better have my back, Zarai. Get it. That is her turn. Braspitus, you are up. All right, so there's a torch at, at, uh, at um, Brolock's feet, right? Yes, there is. All right, I'm going to pick it up and throw it at the tree. Okay, go for it. Give me an attack roll. Uh, thrown, so you're using your dex and no proficiency because this is an impromptu weapon. Thirteen. Thirteen. You hit the tree, but it, you see some sparks go off, but it's almost as if the sparks are bouncing off of a metallic surface. They're not catching anywhere. They're not doing any damage. You didn't even see the, the torch hitting the tree itself do anything. It lands on the ground, spurts a bit, and starts resting at the roots of this tree. Did he pick up Brolog's torch? Because he dropped his back at the door. Okay. Oh, dear. So, that's not going to be too susceptible to fire, but... You also hear a slight laughing in your head. (laughs) (laughs) But... Um... I think I'm just going to take one step forward and uh, turn and look at Brolog. That's my turn. Okay. Brolog, it's back to you. Am I still broken? You are still broken. You are still attacking Peraspitus. Brolog is very angry on the inside. Oh, yeah. Uh, to be also clear with this, prologue in your Londrio, you uh-huh. are still awake on the inside. You just do not have control. Oh, very angry. Fifteen. 
15, does that hit your AC? Use your words. New. Thank you. New. I can't keep an eye on everything at the same time. Okay. Get more you eyes. We'll try harder. Continue missing. <laughs> wow. You're both dying. <laughs> We're already getting our names wrong. Be more like a yeah, mom and see everything Mother is now. not perfect, all right? Mother does what she can. You continue swiping at Prasperdus, and he's still missing. You almost feel like there's still something of Brolog in there, but you can't see any of it. It's just, he's just missing. Zorai. I'm going to do... Oh, no, I want to take a... I want to take my uh, potion of healing. <laughs> Is that a bonus act? Or no, it takes an action. All right. So I'm going to do that. Uh, potion of healing. I actually prefer retconning that to just being a bonus action to do. So it's just a bonus action? If everyone would be fine with that. No. Really yeah. That. Why would so, we not? Because yeah. <laughs> a I'm basic totally potion, which that. is one d eight plus like two mm. or plus three, that takes two your D4 action to do. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's silly, in my humble opinion. Fair enough. Okay. And then, since you said that, can I take um, this vial of? You know what? No, I'm just gonna one potion cast... per turn. Yeah, I, I like. Uh, no, I want to cast uh, fog cloud, like right in the, like right just to like uh, me, Lady Glani, and uh, Percy are covered. Okay, so you, Lady Glani, and Percy are covered. And what's uh, what's fog cloud? What's the radius? It is a twenty foot radius. So the point's going to be, like, right behind us. 20 Mainly so that your Landrill and uh, Prologue can't see inside. Okay, so... That's, that's 10. Yeah, right about there. I can't easily do shapes. That's there. Uh, I'll just do a square. Go away. So well, that's like where the so front of it is. That's where the front of the cloud is. And then behind us around the tree. Okay, so you want to do it around this. Like, so like literally, like, so like the tip is like just around. Yeah, exactly. Like that. Okay. Yeah. I want to kind of break the line of, uh, or line of sight for us. All right. Okay, fog cloud. Uh, you still got some movement if you want to use any at all. Uh, no, I'm fine. Same right here for now. All right, that being your turn. Your laundry. Uh, okay. Uh, keep... Can't see them. The, you know where they are, though. So you're making an attack yep. with disadvantage. Hey, okay. I'm jabbing at her. She's yes. the one touching it. Um, one second. Go in for the lady. Twice here. Let's see which one's the lowest. Fuck! Oh, it would have been a nat 20 if it wasn't a disadvantage. 18 to hit. 18 hits her right now. She's using her armor to pull the gem out of the tree. She is armorless. Yeah. Okay, I am in my head. You know, this possessed version of me, I should say, is visualizing right in the side of the knee. I'm trying to completely get her to stop what she's doing. Well, you hit. Roll for damage. Mm -hmm. Five. D10s. Zorai, Prospetus, you hear a... No! Ah! As she gets hit in the leg. She's like... Stop it! Get them off my back! I won't be able to do this if they keep doing that! You don't see her, or see the reaction because of the fog cloud, but you hear her call out. That being your turn, 
Also, uh, at this point, Steve is going to fly up and start attacking Anubisai. I need him to do a bite attack against Anubisai. Oh no, that's a dead. That's a dead pseudo dragon. 20. 20? I don't think that hits Anubisai. Oop. No. Uh, Anubisai. The best this for him. Pseudo dragon that typically doesn't do this starts flying up to and gnawing at the metal on your of yourself so first here i have a question yes i need some clarification on what exactly anubisai heard did anubisai hear peraspidus actually say i think there are multiple people here inside the tree yes as that in is... souls possibly yes yeah that's Praspidus's assumption. Oh, this is a choice. I'm going to attempt it. I have to. I am going to move there. I am going to move there. <laughs> I don't care. You can roll for Steve's attack. Okay. Make a roll for the attack of opportunity from Steve and Brolog. And prologue. That's and fine. prologue. Make an attack of opportunity against Anubisai. You're lucky. Looks you weren't in so range of these or... Angry. Steve does not hit. Surprise. Prologue rolls a 24. Prologue hits. Awesome. Of course, you hit the most heavily armored thing in this place. <laughs> of course, yeah. you do. <laughs> <laughs> well. I'm actually glad have to six points of damage as i'd rather you anubisai than me you get uh you get hit by brolog as i'm ignoring over. everything <laughs> and i am reaching out and touching the tree and trying to do an absorb when you reach out and touch the tree you feel the substance and it does not absorb. Not trying to do metal. Can you do that? No, but I'm trying. Okay. I don't <laughs> know what's going on in this place, but this place is weird, and I know it's in there, and that is like a blood bank to a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a... And if it does, I understand that Anubis is leaving the campaign, because I will probably become a god. <laughs> Give me a wisdom check here. That's oh good. I'll probably fail that. Eight. No. Uh, when you reach out, you you remember what he said, but you're not quite sure how to make it work. Yeah. Um. Is that going to count as an attack then? Uh, that would I would That's say enough just enough action. Roll. Yep. Bonus Probably. Action? Or action? Uh, I would say bonus action. Well, I moved my whole 30 feet, so I can't do anything else. Okay. That brings it around to. Well, that's actually perfectly fine. Uh, Lady Galani. She needs to do a check on her side. Okay. You hear her just going, Come on, you daft thing. Just pop out. Prospetus, it's your turn. All right. Um... We're in a fog cloud. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Oh, sh there's not much I can do. I'm going <laughs> to... Because I don't want to attack Brolog. And I'm not going to attack your laundry. So, 
Oh. Make up your mind. Six seconds. It's a hard decision to make because there's not much I can do. There's a lot you can do. There's just not, <laughs> not much really. you're willing to do. To do. <laughs> do um, do? The best thing I can, the only thing I can actually do is attempt to hi, uh, heal Zarai because I can't, I can't do anything against the tree. Um, because if I move from here, they'll attack... Lady Galani. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna heal Zarai. Okay. Uh, what level? Just a level one. So taking a five hit point damage yourself. Ooh, that wasn't too bad. Uh, nine points of damage healed. Healed on. So you're back up to thirty, Zarai. You reach out, you let off that arcane sense and movement of white energy as it flows towards Zarai and then dissipates into his body, healing up and closing some of his wounds. Prologue. You are stepping into the fog bank and taking a swing at Lady Galani. It's so angry! <clears throat> At disadvantage. At disadvantage, Just yes, because you're in the fog. Oh, park. good. Seven. Seven. The dex isn't negative, is it? Okay, she's fine. That misses. Brolog steps into the fog bank. You hear the whoosh of his axe get swung through air, and it hits nothing. It's round two, Zorai. Uh, I'm just going to move right here, directly positioning myself right in front of Lady Galani. And then... Am I... I'm doing nothing. I'm just standing there as a big old meat shield, wings spread, just trying to get in the way of the bring, the bring it on, spirit. angel boy, because neither of us can see us. All right, so this is actually when Steve would be taking his action. Steve is going to fly up and try to sting you, Zarai. You saw. Oh, the I have to roll against myself. You need to roll against yourself. He's attacking you with a stinger. After we risked our lives seven. to save him. Seven. Okay. seven. okay, seven. You, Zarai, your best friend, person you've been spending your whole life with, is attacking you, vigorously dashing his tail in towards you, trying to sting you. It's a really confusing situation. Two of your teammates have turned against you out of nowhere. Steve is now turning against you. I would say make a wisdom check. Good lord, get a different die. Retire that one. Throw it in jail. I've, been, I've already been You've doing it. You've rolled below 10s this whole time. I've rolled higher than 10s when it doesn't matter. Yeah, with your stealth. With Okay, get a new damn die. <laughs> wow, that's bad. Oh. And now you are possessed. Ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, uh, your laundry will... It is your turn. Mm -hmm. You still have reach. It doesn't matter that he's in your way. You already have disadvantage. So you're attacking yep. Lady Galani. Yep. Like, you're in his way. Oh. You would be giving her three-fourths cover. But he already has disadvantage because of the fog cloud. So he's just going to just keep trying to go at it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't have to roll twice because I just rolled in that one, which is a six. To hit. Six. So yeah, that's also there is no possible miss. way for me to. It doesn't really matter that he's swinging his yeah. halberd in deeply. I mean, you're just whopping it down with the your wings or whatever you can. You're trying to defend Lady Galani as best as you can. If only she could see you and these efforts that you're doing for her. Son of a bitch. 
A fog cloud, that's not a concentration, right? Uh, I think it's just a thing that pops and then disseminates and disperses eventually. Just I just want to double check that. Uh, I think it's strong wind disperses. Yeah, it's, it, oh, it, is, it is concentration. So. It is concentration? Okay. You don't need to because you haven't been damaged since you cast it, but it's good to know. Because mm -hmm. we should have this on you. There we go. Right. After you, your laundry is in Ubersai. Grapple, prologue, or sleeper hold. <laughs> okay. Uh, trying to, believe it or not, prologue and I have actually figured out mechanics to make sure we know how this works. So, we're covered on that. Awesome. So, make an attack roll against prologue. Prologue, either make a dexterity or athletic saving throw. Uh, Oh, oh, that was going to be so gross. I mean, it's the still tease. gross. It's a 23. Well, 12. You were successful. You have grappled Brolog. Next turn, when you succeed again, you'll have him in a full choker hold and he will start suffocating. Yep. That's it. Okay. So he's grappled. Still technically disadvantage, that works. Perfectly fine. It's then But Lady Galani, because they're all in people, is still cussing at the tree, calling its uh, very foul and bad names as she is still unsuccessful at pulling and removing the gem from it. Praspitus. Um, I'm going to attempt to, oh, there's a, there's a Steve in my way. Well, I guess I could do this. I'm going to attempt to, uh, um, grapple, uh, your laundry. -o. Are you sure, young one? <laughs> okay. I mean, all I really need to do is make sure you don't do anything so um that was a st strength roll yeah. that was a so your laundry will make a it's a it's an attack roll so just straight uh do a normal attack with your strength your laundry will make a athletics or acrobatics check whichever is higher 16 athletics I, uh, I got it. I got a five. Yeah, you. Attempts. I have. I have my hand on your forehead, and I'm holding you back <laughs> as you're swinging at me. <laughs> just, you come in for the attack, and you start going in to give him a good old bear hug, but he just pushes his hand down, stops you on the head. No. He's like, no. <laughs> Shoves you backwards, making you stumble no. a little. Anything with your bonus action? I almost rolled a nat 20 on that. Um... Oh, uh, <laughs> also, Brolog, you need to make an attack of opportunity against Praspidus as he left your... He's being grappled range. right now. He's being... It doesn't matter. He's being grappled. He cannot move. Grapple dis removes all your movements. If you are restrained, you cannot take actions. If you are grappled, you can still take actions. Still at disadvantage. Still at disadvantage because you're on the cloud. 16. Yeah, nothing about can't, you can't not being able to take reactions when you're grappled. It's just your movement is gone. Uh, 16, uh, 16 does not hit. Does not hit Praspitus. Um, I am going to do an action surge and try that again. All right, so give me some more checks. Attack roll against him and an acrobatics. Oh my goodness! I rolled a nat one. Well, let's see what my athletics does. Eight. So 
Hey, this my... time, this time as he's coming in, I just slightly lean back and stick out my foot. And so you can trip over. <laughs> just kind of stumble around a little bit. You're getting the idea that uh, your laundry will possibly, seeing as they were an acrobat wherever they came from in the past, is pretty good at evading grasp like this. For the most part, pretty Athlete, good at that. Sir. Athlete, yes. Athlete. Yes. Where they come from. Uh, it is back to the top. Brologue. Mm -hmm. Still broken, I assume. Still broken. And still attacking Lady Galani. Okay. At disadvantage, remember. Natty one. Good grief. Oh, that makes sense. Can you He's all grappled. roll better? <laughs> yep. Well, his heart's not in it. He's not going to roll better. <laughs> uh, the Nubisai, when he can't quite get his axe up and in the reach of it, there is a stop and a silence of movement as his head turns. And for the first time, you see this really creepy and eerie grin come out of Brolog's mouth as he's now paying some attention towards you. Zorai. Yeah? It's you. What oh. are you doing? I didn't think with the eight wisdom I'd be able to keep going. <laughs> um... To, uh... It's your much. opportunity. Opportunity for what? You're always trying to kill him anyhow. Now you got an excuse. I'm not trying to kill anybody, ever. Yeah. Intentionally hurt maybe a little bit. Make, Zarai, make a wisdom. Do a wisdom check. 13. And the, I'm going... The no. thing about your laundry and uh, Steve right now that you notice is they don't they don't seem themselves. They seem like, for some reason, when you focus on it, it almost looks as though something's taking control. And that maybe you might be able to push them out. Hey, uh... We're gonna... Yeah, I can't even cast any spells. Alright, I'm just gonna shoot an arrow at your laundry. Okay. This would be at disadvantage because he is in melee range of you. Fair enough. Fourteen doesn't hit, does it? Nope. nope. I snatched that arrow out of the sky. <laughs> you you uh, tink it out the way with the Mm -hmm. the, my halberd the halberd like, Think you don't have that gloves of arrow snatching yeah <laughs> Unfortunately. not with this character <laughs> no not with this one uh, you shoot it he tinks it out the way smiles at you for a second and then continues focusing on his job uh steve are you finished you're gonna do anything with your bonus action or movement well steve is gonna try to go at you again with a stinger of course he fucking hits me. Can't hit myself, but he definitely hits. What was the roll? It was uh, 18. 18, yeah, that hits, yeah. Rough sauce, buddy. Oh! <laughs> Your boy's passed out, boys. <laughs> With six points of damage. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so... Well, Steve's pretty good and effective. That concentration's gone. You are passed out asleep on the ground. And you took six points of damage. Yep. For Aspidus, Anubisai, you can't see it, but you hear the sound of a thunk onto the ground, Bonk. and it, it almost sounds familiar. <laughs> As if we've heard it a couple As of times. As if you've heard it before. I but I know I'm nobody like, died. I'm proud of you, so. Steve. Before like my eyes close and before I'm good, I'm just like... Steve, my boy. 
Right. Uh, your laundry all. Mm hmm. Give me mm -hmm. an attack against Lady Galani. Yep. Yep. Mm hmm. But look. Uh, does the cloud go away immediately or is it going to be fading? With Mind his it. going to sleep. I think. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Does it fade? Because it was a concentration. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if the rules are different in five edition, but in previous ones, it, it faded away over time. After the uh, spell is ended. Can you double check the spell for us quickly, Zara? It lasts for the duration or until a wind of moderate or greater speed, at least ten miles per hour, disperses it. Then how is that concentration? Well, I mean, concentration in a windy area, you, you'd, you'd have to concentrate mm. to keep it up. But... Well, either way, it stays up. It is still there for a good amount of time. Uh, nine. Yeah, you got a nine uh, to hit Lady Galani. That does not hit her. You didn't manage to pokey poke her at all, sadly. Mm -hmm. So it goes around to Anubisai. I am going to go lose a couple ounces because I cannot hold it <laughs> until break. Yeah. Sorry. You're good. So cold. Good point. And also, while I'm doing the chokehold, cold, I'm going to whisper into Brolog's ear. I dare you to leave Brolog because I will take you. Okay. Uh, first, give me the... Give me an, uh, an attack roll to... You give me an attack, attack? roll, Rolog, you give me uh, athletics and acrobatics. So yeah, just a, a, an attack roll again. Yeah. 23. Okay, 23, that beats a 17. So, Anubisai gets round, starts getting that choke off on you. Whispers into your ear, Brolog, and you hear it. You hear what Anubisai has to say. Anubisai, give me an intimidation check. Or a persuasion, actually. Persuasion. I'd rather do intimidation. This one would be persuasion. Intimidation? Not quite but intimidating. Oh, look, it was, that 20 was just right there. So that's a mm. four. A four. Since you just... You do hear Oh, actually, a... no, that's a negative one. Oh, gross. Oh, sad. That's why I wanted to do intimidation. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, actually, a one. One. Non-natural one. Non-natural. Right. Minus five, that's right. Yeah, minus five. What you get in response is Brologs yeah. chuckling. Yeah. Like soft, like, chest chuckle, not actually expending any oxygen, which is important at this point. Uh, that was your action. Oh, take... What's your con modifier, Brolog? Four. At least four rounds. Ouch. To choke Can him I... out. A lot of... A lot of turns. I hope I miss for four, four rounds. <laughs> Give me Being a free. Without... Give me a wisdom check. Me? Yes. It's not gonna be much. Five. Mm. Yeah, this this whole thing is a little confusing. The whole what's going on, why they're attacking you suddenly. I can't quite piece it together. Although, actually, I would say do it at advantage. Because I, I, I I know they're possessed. You yeah. You would get... Yeah, there you go. 15. 15. You remember that with when it comes to possession, when you people are possessed, there is a response to physical damage. If you damage the vessel, there is a chance they could regain themselves. Uh, I already did my attack this round, so I can't you do did. anything else. Yep. Should have just been hitting me for this instead of trying to grapple. <laughs> All right. Praspidus is not going to hit you with a sword. It is Lady Galani's turn. Mm. 
She continues cussing at the tree. I don't know where that die went, but it deserves to be burnt. Continues cussing at the tree. She can't do anything mm -hmm. to it. So, Prospitus, it's you. Alright, Prospitus lets out a very, a very uh, visceral curse in Magus. It's takes one step word. back, brings his sword up with both his hands, and brings it down on one of the roots of the tree. Okay, give me an attack roll. We got a 16. 16? You bring it down, you see the bark fluctuate, but then bounce your blade back up. There is a resounding ching. It's and you're almost make some armor out of this bark. Sorry. <laughs> you're almost confident that uh Oh, what was it? That you can penetrate through, and if you get through this bark, it's going to be very soft inner gooey insides. But it is very hard to get in there. Anubisai. Hmm. For some reason. You've healed. For some reason, no visible. No visible, but then you feel the hot embers behind your leg. Oh, I'm standing on the torch? <laughs> as far as you can tell. Hmm. Well, okay. Do, 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 do. Is that what you're doing with your turn? Mm -hmm. Anything else? Okay. Yes. Prologue, it's you again. Uh, you're going to try to break from your grapple this time. So, for that, it's Anubisai Athletics or Acrobatics. And same thing with you, Prologue. Athletics, yeah. Athletics or Acrobatics, either one of those two. But I think Athletics is much more attractive mm. to you. It is. Twelve. Nope. What'd you 16. get? 16? Yeah. You do not succeed at breaking from the grapple. Uh, from an other side. Chance. Very close. Uh, that wasn't at disadvantage, was it? Just straight roll? Correct, yeah. Okay, good. Then it is... Well, Zara, you're asleep and you can't be woken up until someone shakes you. So it's going to be Steve who is going to fly in and start going for Lady Galani. Uh, attack Go with the Stinger to... at disadvantage. 13. 13 hits. Are you kidding me? I guess she needs a con save of uh, 11. Yep. And take 6 points of damage. She got an 11 on a con save. Just barely oh, passing. Close. And six points of damage. There is a resounding cry as you hear her say, For fuck's sake, get them off me! I just realized I'm not unconscious, I'm just poisoned. Because I'm an idiot. We can just go to the well, I'm, I'm shocked you're landed, me. You've <laughs> landed on the ground. You're there. You're thinking, oh, Steve, he did such a great job. He made me unconscious. Wait, no, I'm awake. <laughs> uh, you are prone on the ground now, though. But you're awake, at least. Yeah, we'll just say that took my whole turn because I was just so proud of him. Yes, you. <laughs> being a little ditzy in there. <laughs> so, yeah. That uh, took your turn. Your laundry will... Uh, may, give me an attack against Lady Galani. Fifteen. That hits. Okay. Ugh, this damage I'm doing. Four. <laughs> yeah, but it's... 
freaking where? I love how he's rooting for. <laughs> so, for sorry. the thing possessing it's him. Natural. It's just natural for me to want big damage. Big damage. <laughs> Uh, Lady Galani is constantly getting accosted, screaming orders at you all, telling you all that it just come on, for, seriously, just fight back. And she is calling out, I've never seen soldiers so scared of striking their own men if they should turn on, on themselves. Just constant beration towards all of you. She is very angry right now. Do 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 Anubis I. I almost wanted to attack her. But since choking's gonna take way too long, I am going to attempt to throw prologue as far this direction as I can. Brologue, you have a feat that makes you unmovable, right? I have a feat that makes it so I can't go prone. But you can't go prone. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. I would say give me a strength check. You've got him well in your grasps. Grasps. It's more of a question of how far can you throw him. Yeah. Oh, that's only while I'm raging, which I'm not. Ah, okay. Good to know. So, that's a... Is this a strength check? So yes. 16. 16? Okay. You managed to get him... 10 feet. Pretty heavy creature. Large in size. Weighs a good amount as well. You can throw him and he gets thrown 10 feet... Lands at a bit of a scuttle. Brolog, give me a dexterity saving throw to see if you land on your feet. Five. Five. You do not. You land prone on your back. As you land I you on the ground. I just go, hey, buddy. Uh, you're in the, in the cloud. You can't see oh, him. That's right, I am in the cloud. Yeah. I'm going to step up so that I'm also out of the cloud. And did that, was that an action or That would be an action. action. Okay. So, that's, I'm facing off of them. Okay. I have not drawn my sword. Okay. Uh, da -da. That brings it around to Lady Galani. Who needs to do this at disadvantage now because she's been hit. Doesn't matter. Hi, Steve. That was a natural one. Oh. So, much more cursing, much more frustration, much more anger. And you also hear, someone else smell fire. Brolog. Did I miss four points of damage? Uh, you were, you were, you only healed two, worth two points. Oh. You healed minor amounts, but you did get a little healing from that fire. My bad. I thought I healed. Nah, not fully. I gotta change my beyond. Okay. Uh, Brolog. It will be half your movement to stand up. And uh, there's a big creature in front of you. That the creature. thing that Katie. Oh, big suit of armor in front of you that the, uh, the the creature inside of you wants to kill. So make an attack roll against the That's so Not funny. at disadvantage, because you are not inside the cloud yeah, anymore. Yeah, we're outside the cloud. Twenty-two. Pretty sure that meets, right? Yep, that meets. So that hits. Nice job, bro. <laughs> A big damage. Can't hit brass, yeah, but can hit Nubisai. Bro, yeah, no problem. I'd Seven. rather he be hitting me. The possessed bros. We're here. We'll start <laughs> our own adventure after we TPK. Seven reduced to three for 
the glorious damage resistance. Yeah, there's a resounding ching ching as Brolog drags his battle axe across Nubis Eye. Uh, it is then Zorai. So I have my movement to get up. And then I'm going to throw. Not... Wait, no, I'm just. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in range of Steve, right? Yeah, he's right next to you. Alright, I'm going to use uh, Kane's dagger to uh, attempt to just hit him. Attacking Steve? Okay, give me an attack roll. Did you roll an at 20 Uh no. Remember at disadvantage. You're Doesn't in the fog. Matter. I still don't hit. Kid I rolled an 11. His DC is higher than mine. That's right. <laughs> but, Good grief, people. Come on. Start rolling better. That's all I could do. Gee whiz. All right. Steve is going to continue going for Lady Galani. Give me an attack roll against her. She's going to be dead, boys. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I don't care either. 22. Is that with disadvantage? You're 18. in the fog cloud. 18 still hits. Why, why are you, you just... just a bite or a sting? This is a sting. It's a con save of 11. She passes four that. Four points of damage. And four points. Okay, yeah. The curses have stopped from her. She is no longer extremely pissed at you all. And, uh, perhaps it is you, well, you all barely, those of you who are still yourselves, can hear, hear her say under her breath, For fuck's sake, fine, if you don't want, if you want something done the right, you do it yourself. Then your laundry will... I need an attack yes, roll at disadvantage against Lady Galani. Seventeen. Do it. Do it. That hits. Do it. Five. Five points again. Are you pulling your punches? Keep rolling ones and twos on that D10. I feel like I feel like you're accidentally pulling your punches. <laughs> yeah, this is all accidental. Purely accidentally. Right. Uh, it is Anubis Eye. Okay. First point, we need to clarify something. This came up last week. Mm -hmm. I don't do unarmed strike damage. The Iron Golem itself had. An unarmed strike. The and unarmed strike, which was the the two d six, right? Yep. Yeah, I was considering which, seeing as you didn't have that. a have, seeing as you didn't have a hand at that, it was more of a bludgeoning thing. I was thinking it's with with the hand, bludgeoning. it does it. Okay. Well, then I am hitting Brolog or trying to. Good old punch in the face. Yep. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I'm punching him at least. That is <laughs> into a next natural week. 20. Yeah. Natural 20. Straight into next week. So, damage. Double, sir. Five, ten, seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. From a punch, ladies and gentlemen. I need you to understand. Punch. This dude just punched Brolog for 17 HP. So, Brolog, you do take all 17 of that. Bring you down to 29. So, do we succeed at this mission, Brolog? <laughs> Once you do that, Anubisa, you bring your fist up straight into Brolog's head, and there is this crunch crack his head whips back and this ethereal form gets thrust out from inside of from his body i figured that you it, it. peers right behind him and just goes 
You will not take our treasure. No, I'm going to take you. As he sucks up that soul, just like... Prologue, you are now yourself. You now have full control of your body again. Um... It is not your turn, though. That is just for the future. Cool. Uh, anything with your movement, Anubisai? Yeah. Next. Next. You always come and punch me real quick. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay. You hurt more. That's that. It is then their turn. This creature is. How much is that movement? Oh, good. Right. I'm in the wrong layer. shifts out of view and disappears from your sight. It is then Lady Galani who is going to look down at her Alright Ralphie, take care of him. Ralphie lifts his nose up and the black tendril wraps around the bottom part of his jaw and stays and tries to, keeps trying to pull at this gemstone. With Ra oh, good freaking grief, doing much better under Ralphie's control than hers. And she is going to lift her legs up and jump off the tree branch and try to shield bash Steve. What is actually her attacks for that? Actions. DC 15, just so you're aware. Thank you. Okay, she got a 17, so she hits. Of course, with maximum damage, that's nice. Steve takes a total of 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Your teeth knocked out. Yeah. However, unlike Brolog, this does not shunt the creature inside of him out. There is a slight waver around Steve's form as it looks like it's about to, but then it just recollapses into one and Steve continues snarling and snarling. Just basically a lot of snarling. Lady Galani is now on the ground. She is no longer mounted. Braspatus. Alright, so I'm going to, uh, well, Braspatus is going to once again curse gutturally in, uh, Magus, and, um, two-handed swing right at the trunk of the tree. Okay, give me an attack roll. Oh my goodness. Disadvantage. What are these rolls today? Because you're in the fog cloud. Well, it doesn't matter. I missed. What was your roll? Eight. Yeah, you missed. You swing out where you thought the trunk was, but narrowly miss. Hitting nothing but air. Anything with your bonus or movement? No, no, I'm just cursing. Okay. Then it is Brolog. Your turn, and you have full control of your body. I was... Uh... uh Brolog rages. <laughs> okay. Uh, Imagine that. <laughs> uh, he does a little thunderous trumpeting whilst raging. Very angry. Um, 
Yeah, he does that. Uh, uh, then, uh, so how much, uh, how much of what just happened does Brolog know as far as the he, possession? He saw everything. You, okay. when you got possessed, you felt this presence suddenly upon yourself, and then your body was moving without you controlling it. And you found that you couldn't speak, you couldn't force your breath, you couldn't think like inside your body, you couldn't move any of your parts. You were still there. You saw, heard, smelt everything, but you couldn't do anything. Okay. Well, in that case, Rolot will come over here and attempt to punch Yolandriel in the face. Okay. There is a way for you to do that without getting into Steve's attack of opportunity. So I will say you did that. Oh. Cool. Right, give me an attack roll against your laundry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah. 14. That you can't hit. Nope. 14, that does not hit. I hear you coming at the last second, and I'm like, huh, out of your way as your fist goes right past my face. All done. Okay. And I think I'm missing a token somewhere in here. I don't know where it is. Hang on. I'm moving some people. It's somewhere around here. There it is. Hang on. Let me just move you over there. There we go. Good, 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 good. So you narrowly miss your laundry all in his movement. Again, he's just deftly dodging out of the way of everyone's blows as it swings around to Zarai. Lady Galani just hit your best friend in the face with her shield. A brologue seems to be back to his normal self. Although, you're not seeing any of that. You're just hearing it because you're in the fog cloud. Yeah, I'm just going to take a swing at uh, Elandriel, Kane's dagger. Okay, give me an attack roll. You misses. Oh, good to grief. Well, you missed. I step out of the way of Brolog, and then I see that coming, just and I just step out back. of the way of that. Just constantly getting out of the way of every single one of the blows. Very deft, very subtle and quick on your feet. You, Steve. We shall test that. Steve is going to. Steve's going for you, Zarai. <laughs> this time round, he's going for you. Attack with disadvantage with the stinger. He misses. What was the roll? 12. 12? Yes, that misses. And your laundry roll. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going for Lady Galani still. Okay. Still at disadvantage? Still at disadvantage. Seventeen. That hits. <laughs> Ten points of damage. There is a resounding cry as Lady Galani gets hit by this blow from Yolandriel. That is your turn, Anubisai. You are up. Okay, first, a step. Which will be attack of opportunity, From I believe. Steve. Steve. Yeah. Steve's going to take it. Steve, roll an attack of opportunity. Disadvantage. Advantage. Yeah. What was that? You're muted. You're muted. 14. That does not hit. Yeah. Then a second step. We're dancing. Okay. But he's, now you're flanked. He's flanked. And I get to punch. Attack roll with advantage. 
You are Come on, boy. not going to stop Come on, boy. this. Yeah, watch this. Come on, boy. Oh, there's Come a 91 on, and a 19, oh, which is a crit no. for you. Oh. That is a crit. Nice job. That was so close. Did you guys see that? Yes. That, it was yeah. like on eight, and I was like, oh, <laughs> yes. Tipsy heavy. <laughs> Great! Okay, uh, so geez. dice Another multiplied by these. two. Okay. That was an edge seater. Oops, oh, wrong one. Plenty yeah. of health. Ooh, look at that. Four, 11 points. I rolled minimum damage. But it hopefully is enough to knock you out. Or knock oh. the thing out. Well, I rolled a four. So, when you hit... That was 11 points. You take all that 11. Your laundry. Four health. Mm hmm. And this goes to that. There is a shake and shudder as a shape gets forced out from your laundry and pushed backwards. It looks around and, and screams again Leave! And we won't pursue! Anything else with your turn, Anubisai? No. I'm happy for the moment. We've waking everybody up, and um, we'll see what happens next. Yeah. And your laundry, you are 100% mm -hmm. yourself now. You I, saw do I have number. a second to say something? Yep, split second, so very brief. Okay, I'm going to look at all three of the people that just tried to hit me. And I'm gonna end on a new beside. I'm gonna be like about fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take care of Brolog first. <laughs> He's my friend. <laughs> okay, that was a new beside. It is now then. First, let me see if. Nope. Ooh, do they though? Yes. It'll piss them off. They can't do this. What's up? <laughs> uh, -oh. uh, Zora, I need bad. you to make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> They're trying to repossess. Uh... I love me. Nat 20. Bitch. Okay. Bitch. You get a nat 20. That's fine. Let's see. It tries to possess you again, or tries to possess you, and looks and is like, <laughs> Your wisdom won't save you for long. Yeah. Do, 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 do. It is Lady Galani. She is going to continue try shield bashing Steve. Who is a nuisance to her right now? I cannot punch Steve. I that is oh, that's a twelve oh, to hit. Come in. Nope. No, eleven to hit. That that misses. Ah, uh, that's fine. She's got two. Oh, this is at disadvantage though, because they're in the fucking fog bank. Oops. Uh, yeah, twenty-one. That one will hit. Okay. Is he dead again? He's also at ten health, not nine. Uh. I don't know that no, he's at he's he's at ten. He was damaged beforehand. What he was on on roll twenty is what he was on at the end of last campaign or of last session. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, he is down again. He that is was at bludgeoning, right? That was bludgeoning. Yep. So it's just unconscious. He is just unconscious. He's not completely dead, but he is now at the realm of doing death saving throws. As uh, another creature is shunted out from Steve and says essentially the same thing to you all. Like, Leave! Leave us alone! 
you shouldn't have attacked if you wanted that. It is Prospitus. So, uh, my, my, uh, my cursing is getting more visceral. Ouch. And then I'm going to go ahead and swing at this, this tree again. I look like I'm getting really, really, really mad. Nine. <laughs> can't hit you, anything right now. You keep, you just, you can't break through that bark. The bark is just too strong. It is too high, too hard for you to break through on. Which uh, I, I give a very frustrating uh, cry. And then that's my turn. Okay. Brolog, it is back to you. These shade things still in front of me? They are still in front of you. Okay. Still, Brolog. Brolog will like to cut this one in half. Okay, give me an attack roll. Eighteen. That hits. Twelve damage. Twelve damage. It doesn't look like you did as much as you would to a corporeal fleshy substance, but it does look like you did some damage. There is less mistiness to this creature. Anything else with your turn? Any, uh... Um, no, I do have a question. Yep. Uh, with Zarai in the cloud, is he, is the shade flanked? It is flanked, yes. Okay, no, not that it would matter either. Well, roll again, just to see if you get, get that natural 20. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, crit. Crits are always nice. No. No? Okay. Then it rolls around to... Uh, Zorai. Yep. I'm just going down and I'm cradling Steve. I can't do anything else, but that's all I'm doing. No cure wounds or anything? He's not dead. I don't have a spell. Oh. That's a, that's a, I don't have any spell slots left. So I'm just holding him. When did you use all your spell? Oh. On all the zombies. No. Yeah. Well, uh, it was, yeah. Uh, Steve... I only have three. Steve needs to make a death saving throw. So roll 12. a straight d20 and don't add anything to it. 12. 12? Okay. He makes one save. Make a note of that somewhere. All right, you laundry. Mm -hmm. It's you. Okay. These possessions, do they, are, do they fall under the category of being charmed? Yes, they do. We covered that. Okay. I was just making sure because okay. I thought I heard you say something about that, but I wasn't yeah. sure. I'm going to use my action to channel Divinity Twilight Sanctuary. Uh, so it's a 30-foot radius okay. around me. Filled with dim light, the sphere moves with me, and it lasts for one minute or until you are incapacitated or die. Whatever, whenever a creature, including me, ends its turn in the sphere, you can grant that creature one benefit. And one of those benefits is you end one effect on it, causing it to be charmed or frightened. So if any of you guys get charmed or frightened while you are in my thing, you were okay. So essentially, they can't be anymore. Okay. They can't be anymore. Anyone See? within my... That's why I'm glad your laundry all failed his save. This would have been so first. boring if he got that off just the first time round. Yep. I get that off, and then I'm going to look at everybody, and I'm going to say, Get the stone now. I assume that's a concentration. Uh, no. no. It is a channel divinity. Oh, how long does it last? One minute. One minute, okay. Channel nice. divinities. Nice. Uh, no, I don't need it. 
I don't need it. I was going to do something as a bonus action, but we don't need it. Okay. That being your turn, Anubisai. Cool. Um, I don't know if these guys got reached, so we'll move there. Move there. Move there. And while I'm moving, doing that movement, I draw my sword and attack one in front of me. Okay. Go for an attack roll. And he's flanked. He is flanked. Yeah, I'll still give it to you. Yeah, yeah. So, 19. 19? Okay. Unnatural. Perfecto, that hits. Oh, right, 16. both extremes. Damn. 16. <laughs> there must be balance in the force. Your strikes. Which they are look, magical. Look, yes, they look different from Brologs. Brologs seems to go through, disturbing the wisp to a small degree. Yours seems to cut through, cleanly slicing the mist and causing great agony to this creature, clearly, as it cries out in pain with an. <laughs> yeah. We know what you are. Your worst nightmare. <sighs> After you is Vim. There is a strange sensation behind you, Anubisai, as you take a glance, and that secondary creature has appeared behind you again, and it creeps uh, up, looks at you, and says, Fuel for him. And attacks you. Feel for him. <laughs> do, do, do. At advantage. At advantage, because they are flanking they're, you. They're flanking me. Good luck with that. That is a <laughs> 24. Oh, they can hit. They can. I need more D6. More. <laughs> That's not a good thing to hear the DM say. <laughs> All right, Mr. Tank. Yeah. Depends on what the damage is. Still. <laughs> that would be 20 points of necrotic damage. Oh. Ooh. Which is magical. Yes. Yep. Five it points. is magical. Fire, poison, psychic. Da, 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 da. I had to double yep. check and make sure. <laughs> uh, and the other two are doing the same. They seem to be very focused on you for some reason. Imagine that. For some reason. Your tank's going to go down. Uh, that one is only a uh, 12 to hit, even with advantage. This one, okay. Uh, it's a 22. That meets. Okay. And that is 19 points of necrotic damage. As you all see, these creatures woof, woof. begin to start wailing on Anubisai. There are chunks of Anubisai's armor that just seem to dissipate and disappear as the claws from these creatures slash through and attack at her armor. She seems a little more torn up. You're beginning to have flashbacks to the fight you had with the cadaver collector in the deep forest. This damage looks very similar. And she's beginning to get closer and closer to that point where she was when you when you roll in that forest. It is Lady Galani who looks at you, Zara, and says, I'm sorry, it's the only way. Hops back onto Steve. Or onto Steve. Onto Ralphie. 
Oh, the thief just crushes his just bones. Crushes him, like, oh, I have to kill the pseudo dragon. It's the only way. It's the only way. <laughs> Hops back onto to Ralphie. Takes control again and says, "Come on," and starts pulling. With a much better roll, there is a resounding. And you begin to see cracks forming around the tree from where this black substance is pulling at this gem. The cracks begin to bleed a crimson red ooze that looks very much like blood. Praspidus. A uh, quick question. Uh, can Where I'm situated with this fog cloud, can I see any of those cracks yet? No. Actually, none of you can, because I keep forgetting the fog cloud is there. Yeah. So that is, uh, just that is by the way, mindset. why I'm not reacting to yeah. anything that's yeah. happening outside the fog cloud, because I'm in it. Um, am I the only one in the party that can speak Magus? Yes. Okay, good. Just making sure, because uh, I don't want to actually have to say any of what Praspidus is currently saying. Um, and I'm going to swing at the tree again. A little better. 18. That hits. Yay, finally. Eight points of damage. Eight points. You bring your blade up, look at the sides, which are fairly dented now from the bark, and decide to bring it down with the points down first. Stab it through this root, and there is a gush and ooze of blood as the blade successfully punctures through the bark. You're, you've got red blood on you now, and I need everyone to make constitution saving throws except for you, Anubisai. Oh no. Oh good. Sure. 16. Well, natural 20 for something like this. So, 16 Zarai, natural 20. 17. 17 Brolog, and what was yours, Andreal? Nine. Nine. <laughs> Wait, hang on. That effect you've got going on, that's charmed and what? Frightened. Frightened? Perfect. Nothing happens to you, because this oh. is a frightening effect. Yay. You've saved You're yourself. welcome. <sighs> But you all do hear this resounding. <laughs> which just we did not hear because of Discord. Yeah, we, yeah because it, everyone so else heard it. Mic clips. Yeah. Yes, everyone else at, at home heard it. You all got to enjoy that. They did not. They'll have to watch that later. But yeah, there is a scream, a, a resounding pain striking scream in your ears as your blade sinks into this. All right, and in, in Magus, uh, which sadly nobody else can hear or understand, or not hear, but understand, uh, Praspitus is going to say, finally, I am through. Okay. Brolog. Um, Brolog will turn. Uh, does Brolog know what the symbol on this shade is? Uh, no. Okay, cool. Uh, Brolog will, uh, turn and attack this one. Okay. Uh, just to note, the one that has Yolandriel and Zarai by it, you would have advantage with. That one, you do not have advantage with. That is just a raw attack. Yes. Yes. Okay. Cool. Go ahead. Uh, and actually, let me just, I'm gonna just ask a question first before I do this. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming that Rolog hits. He would like to use his uh, punishing blows to kick that fiend back and take its spot. If he did that. Would the other shades get attack opportunity against him? They would. 
They would. Okay. In that case, he will not do that. He okay. will uh, uh, attack the same one he attacked. Okay. Same one as last time. Give me an attack roll. Thirteen. Thirteen hits. An advantage. Oh, also yeah, an advantage. Yes, I, I rolled advantage. Okay. Yes. Okay. Does it? Great. Um. Eight damage. Eight damage. Again, it seems to whiff through the form. Looks like it hurts a little, but doesn't do as much as you'd want it to. Words resonate yes. through your mind of Anubisai saying, we need to get you a magical weapon. <laughs> yeah. Anything else with your turn? Um... No. Okay. Then, Zorai, it is you. We are going to try and assist Lady Galani with pulling. Okay. So you're just providing her the assist action? Yeah. That's it. Okay. I'll say you can definitely do that with where you're at there. So on her turn, you'll be giving her the assist. Perfect. That's all. Steve needs to make a death saving throw. 13. That is a pass. Right, your laundry. Hey, uh, I'm just going to guiding bolt the one that's right next to me. Uh, guiding bolt this is arranged. Table. This would be at disadvantage, but you're at advantage because he's flanked, so it would be just a straight roll. Just a raw roll. Okay, just a gotcha. raw roll. At raw level two. At level two. Raw roll. roll. Raw roll. Raw roll. Raggy. 19. 19 hits. Okay, that is going to be. That's a lot of dice. 17 Good. damage. That's a lot of dice. 17 damage. This Radiant. Radiant. Mm hmm. Poof. Almost everything I do magic has radiant damage, if it deals damage. The only one that doesn't is necrotic. Right. So, when you send out your bolts against this thing, it is reeling around, looking from creature to creature, looks at Zarai for a moment, thinks about that, but then looks back at you to see your hand up, that form and ball form up and you just what do you say when you send this thing off so lore cast remember so it's yep. always out of my halberd uh i am just gonna <laughs> i'm going to look at him and say if you flee we won't pursue and then just hit him <laughs> with it <laughs> when you do it. like it cocks its head for a moment but then this bolt slams against it eyes widen radiates around and when the flash of energy dissipates it's gone yeah. there's no sign of it anymore again okay. there is a resounding cry of agony from the tree uh zorai oh not zorai anubisai make that roll make oh they actually have a soul. They do. Ooh. They are a soul. Yeah. Oh. 85. 85. 89, 85 would have been the same. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, D6. D6 of health, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which I actually don't have set up at the moment. You want to roll it, Murph? Gotcha. I don't have a standard D6 set up. Gotcha. That's four. Okay, four points. I'll take it. Uh, hurt. <laughs> uh, you're taking some damage, yeah. Uh, that is Zara and Zara. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Mother will get it what? right eventually. Your laundry. No, she won't. <laughs> is that your <laughs> turn? <laughs> uh, let me quick, quick double check that I don't have any bonus actions. Thank god that that is a thing I can click on. Yep, nope. 
Okay. That is my turn. Uh, then Anubisai, it's you. Attacking same target. When I hit before. Sounds good. Go for that attack roll. Stay on target. Stay on target. Stay on target. Stay on target. Uh, this time, Just not with advantage. Surface. Oh. Because Why? Zarai is not helping. He is not paying any attention to this creature. He is fully That's focused it. and on what's her facey. Still definitely hits. Yeah. <laughs> 14 <laughs> plus 7. Yeah, that plus hits. Plus 9. Plus 9. Oh, I got that wrong. That's right, you've upgraded. Uh, let's see here. So, 19. For a second, when you hit this creature, it almost looks like it wants to give up, that it wants to s disseminate to the air, but then it just recoalesces, <laughs> probably for oh, one yeah, last time. Yeah, there's one hit point left, probably. Oh, yeah. well. Then it is their turn. They are going to continue wailing on you, Anubisai. I'm the biggest threat to them. Uh, you're the juiciest th target. Juiciest? Why? You're full of juice. You're full of juice for like, them. You have like four times my HP, first of all. That does not hit, and that's only a 15 I'd to just hit. Bit, you know, so they kill me. What do they get Ooh. as an advantage when they kill me? That's the question. Does a 24 hit? I do believe it Yeah, does. it does. Yeah. More damage. You're the most delicious looking target. Oh, goodness. That is 21 points of necrotic damage. <sighs> Red Warrior is in trouble. All uh, right, then it goes around to Lady Galani, who is being assisted by Zarai this time round, so she is pulling even harder. She you know, you know, for your assistance. <laughs> Zarai, now that you are helping her, you can see some of these trees and you're, just, you're grabbing onto the arm area, helping her pull back. And you can see the cracks forming around this tree. And you can see them getting deeper and deeper and deeper. It almost looks like it's ready to give way. It's almost ready to give up. Praspitus. Ah. Uh, I'm shoving my sword so far into that wound. Okay. Give me an attack roll. Still disadvantaged because you're in the fog cloud. Eleven. That does not hit. You you get it into that area, but you can't seem to wiggle it in even further. It's almost as if the tree itself is willing your blade away from it. Uh, outside of its skin. There's a series of Magus spoken curses. That's my turn. Okay. Brolog. It's you. Uh, Brolog. Um, we'll attempt to cut this shade in half the okay. long ways. Uh, give me a straight attack roll, unless you're doing this recklessly. He's not flanked right now. Gazarai is mm. paying attention elsewhere. Uh, do I, can I tell how injured Anubisai is? <laughs> Anubisai, Anubisai's got a very large series of split marks, piercings, and punctuations inside her armor. She looks like a well-used suit of armor after a heavy battle. Rula will recklessly attack. Okay. This one. What's up, Percy? Uh, quick question on the burning of the tree that's was happening. Is it just you in can't the fog, tell. so that's why we can't tell? You're in the fog. Okay, that makes sense. You can't see. That makes sense. 
17 to 17 hit. 17 to hit, that hits. It's dead. It's You don't even need to roll damage. But roll damage just for the funsies of it. But oh, yeah, it is gone. Roll that damage. Uh, Anubisai, you can make another roll. Nine damage. It's gone. Be gone. Another d6. Another d6. Hey, six. Yeah. My d6 are I'm rolling well. Keeping up <laughs> with what I'm taking. <laughs> There's a cry and a shout as this creature dissipates into nothing with a bit of a nyah, 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 nyah. Tried to imitate the video game with that one. Um, anything else with your turn, Brolog? Uh, Brolog will then dance about this shade and come over here. All right. Putting him into flank. Good. Brings it around to Zarai. Can I like actively pull on it? I'm just gonna. Yeah, give. Uh, seeing as now that you've established that help, give me uh, just a straight strength check. With advantage. <laughs> with advantage, because um, you're technically helping Lady Galani, who's doing the same thing. It was 13. 13. Or 91. <laughs> you manage. When you stop pulling and assisting with the pulling you can feel that the tree is pulling back it is trying to pull back at the sensation where you manage to keep it where it's at she doesn't lose any ground at all uh, with that that would probably be everything you can do because that's taking yep. a lot of effort Steve uh, rolled 20 Steve his, uh, passes he, he is now stabilized so he doesn't need to make any more rolls, but he's unconscious and he is still on the ground. If something should attack it directly, he would take death saving throws and could still die. But he is stabilized now. Your laundry all. Uh, yeah. One one boy left. One boy left. Uh, one seeing that the boys are taking care of said ghosty. Uh... <laughs> I am going to turn towards the tree and I am going to cast Moonbeam. Uh, Moonbeam right in the center of that tree. <laughs> Just okay. right move out of the way. The center. <laughs> exactly, because it okay. can't move out of my way. <laughs> right, so this thing, I'm going to put just a series of dotsy dots on it. I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to say that, 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 that. Hopefully you all understand that this is dead, but I need a token to be Moonbeam. So, yeah. okay. Uh, so, it's... is the tree able to make the con save necessary to take half damage? It's a con save. If it was a deck yes. save, I would say no. Right, no. But yeah. it's a con but... save. So, technically, yes. It's possible. I don't know why it's a con save and not a deck save. It doesn't make any sense. But con save is the know. worst. It would make sense if it was a deck save. It rolled a six, so it failed. That doesn't make it. All right. Well, at the beginning of its turn, it's going to take, let's see, 15 points of damage. So. <laughs> okay. Beginning of its turn, 15. That's right. And that's a concentration, just so you know. Which means you me. need to go to. You want to cancel that? You need your little timer glass. Perfect. For one minute. For one whole minute. Perfect. Yep. Thank you. Good, good. You all see that there's this. You can't directly see the moonbeam hitting the tree for most of you. Those of you outside of the fog cloud, you can see the tops of this tree. It is taller than the fog cloud can emanate to itself. And there's a bright flash, but then you also see the fog light up. This fog disseminates through, or light disseminates through fog with a refractor later rate as the light hits those little tiny prisms of moisture in the air. So you can tell, and now that you've all seen your Yolondriel do this before, you can tell that your Yolondriel is casting Moonbeam, and it looks like he's casting it on the tree. 
brings it around to uh, anything else with your movement? Uh, nope. I'm just going to nope. stand there, halberd out, pulsating with energy. Uh, <laughs> I am going to spin around and use my momentum to attack that guy. Okay. With a spinning flourish. Ooh. With a spinning flourish at advantage. At advantage because of Brologue. Please be there. One off. Oh. One off from a crit. Anyway, I hit. Yes, you do. You definitely do. Nineteen. Nineteen points. It cries out in agony as it gets hit. It's still forming itself back. Yeah. Perfectly fine, but I think that's the first time we've hit it. It is quite quite unwell. Anything yeah, with your well, movement? No. No? Okay. Me and Brolog are gonna face this one off. Face Probably it off. Fear of it. Uh it is going to It's face off. Unless it wants to run like a coward. <laughs> Which would be great because then both of <sighs> us get tax of opportunity or oh, phase down. It vanishes. No tax? Disappears from sight. No tax. Can I just swing in the air where it was just in case? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can. It's it... for luck. <laughs> Oh, oh, well, Anubisar disappeared for a moment there. Oh, dear. Yeah, wrong button. There he goes. It... Chasing after that goes. <laughs> yeah, I vanished. Find him. It <laughs> disappears out of sight. That is its turn, so it goes <sighs> round to Lady Galani. Lady Galani looks at you, Zarai, and says, Right, let's try this again. One, two, three. <laughs> Pulls with all her might. I toot a little bit. <gasps> That's enough Dance around it well enough, you silly dice. There is a resounding... <laughs> and what you hear is... It's gross. It's, gr it's, it's like, you know, when you grab into a chunk of brisket that's freshly made and then pull away. It's like that wet, juicy sound of pulling flesh away from other flesh, just ripping it apart as the blood squirts all over the place. There is a ripping and tearing from the bark, a sound of fluids pouring onto the ground, and a resounding cry of agony and then nothing. The whispering in your brain, in your mind, Praspidus, it continues. It is still going, but the presence of the tree itself it seems to have dissipated and disappeared. The fog remains and everything is quiet for a while. After a moment, you see a familiar ghost reappear in front of you all, and it looks around and says, No need to worry. I am no longer under its control. I will happily tell you everything you would like to know. But before we get into that, we need to take a break, because that yes. lasted a very long time. <laughs> we will be That's most of our time. Two hours and 30 <laughs> minutes, almost exactly. Uh, yeah. But... Quickly, Praspidus, what's your question? Um, because the fog is still lingering and <laughs> Praspidus has no... He's still attacking the tree. Uh, you do hear that ghost and what it says. And you do hear the ripping of the, the thing. And just just for all sakes concerned, I hear him say that and I'm just going to drop the smoke, especially after we pull out the... The, the smoke's already been dropped. So you can't unfortunately the, it, drop the smoke is still there course. remember we covered that the smoke is still there it has to be dispersed by a gust of wind of some kind uh there are other things you will notice uh primarily being when you first hit it you can now puncture through very easily 
and it has become painfully easy and when you hit it does no longer squirt blood everywhere it just kind of splashes a little i may not be wise but i am intelligent yes you are i just realized that and i just realized the lower <laughs> half of my pants are just covered in this substance from percy just yes. constantly oh. whacking right next to me and the juicy after effects so of delicious. you ripping the tendrils out we will see you all in a few minutes here. A few of yep. us desperately need to relieve ourselves, such as me, because uh, yes. I do not have the privilege of the other players Same. of being able to sneak out every now and then and relieving <laughs> and losing a few ounces. I have to be here constantly. <laughs> so we'll be right back. Enjoy yep. some nice little dandy music. Bye.
Well, you all find yourself fog cloud around. As far as you can see, the only individuals who can actually currently see the aberration where it stands is Yolondriel, Anubisai, and Brolog. It actually stands closer to over here. As again, you all hear the voice come out. <coughs> Excuse me. It took control. But because of my situation, I did not dissipate when the stone was removed. So, Paraspatus is going to wade out of the fog cloud now. Uh, <clears throat> as a point of uh, timing, <clears throat> is it Paraspatus' turn before Brolog? It would be. Okay, cool. In this case, because it's taking it, and then it would be Paraspatus. Because it is after you in the initiative order. Okay. And after right. Anubisai in the initiative order. And after, yeah, so actually it would straight be Praspitus' turn. Because it was Lady Galani who pulled the gemstone out that initiated all this. And then it's Praspitus right after Lady Galani. Okay. Great. All right. So Praspitus wades out, out from the, the cloud covered in this ooey gooey blood from the tree. His uh, sword kind of in hand, kind of a deranged look on his face. His eyes are pretty wide right now. And he's, uh, he's going to look around and he's going to say, I, I need answers. I need answers soon. I would be happy to provide them as long as you can contain your men. Perhaps, but this isn't going to make any move to do anything after that. Okay. Brolog and Ubisai. Mm. And your lord. Brolog. And, and Zarai. You all have time to do something at this point. Okay, Brolog will uh, uh, run past Anubisai. Uh, mm, now you're just going to keep running. Uh, it's gonna run up here and attempt to chop down this tree. I'm pulling Steve out of the smoke. Okay, so you're chopping out the tree? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna consider you still in rage for this entire thing because it's gonna be a tactical. He is very raged. Uh, would you also say that Brolog is doing this recklessly? Very recklessly. Okay. <laughs> then when I ask you for an attack roll, because I'm going to do this periodically during the RP, do oh. it with advantage. <clears throat> okay. Give me one for right now, though. Oh, Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Okay. You're bringing this axe down. The rest of you can't hear it. You can see the silhouette of Brolog getting cast out of the the fog cloud from Eulondriel's moonbeam that's coming down onto the tree. And you can see that he's bringing his axe up, bringing it down onto the tree. And with every single strike, there is a resounding splash and movement of liquid and flesh getting chopped from side to side. Eulondriel and Anubisai, are you two doing anything? Gonna end Moonbeam. Okay, the silhouette disappears. Look, and I'm at, asking. I know what Zara is doing. Thank you. And then I'm gonna look at Paraspatus, and I'm gonna say, "Sorry about that, but uh, you go ahead and deal with this ghost. Who needs to be healed?" I like call out to the group. Mm. I'm just pointing at Steve. Please. 
Elondriel, probably actually for the first time, because he's Steve's been in the fog bank this entire time, you see the limp form of Steve, the pseudo dragon, in Zarai's hands, and him looking up at you with a pleading eye of "Please, help." I'm gonna be like, "All right, come on, bud," and I'm gonna like grab him, and I'm just gonna sit crisscross applesauce on the ground and do a prayer of healing for the next ten minutes to heal. Uh, how many people can I heal with that? Up to six creatures. So who needs nice. healing? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Okay. Everybody. <laughs> Every- <laughs> Yay, I dealt damage to everyone for once. Wait, no, I still haven't dealt any damage to Prasperus. It's been himself I was gonna say no. the whole I did time. That to Everyone's healed for 16 over the next 10 minutes. Okay, next 10 minutes. Okay. Hold off, but keep that number in mind. Yes, yes. Anubisai, what are you doing? Where is the torch? The torch is actually right by Brolog's feet, which he's enraged and doing things recklessly, very angry, so I didn't, didn't make him do a perception check. To consider the fact that, close to him, the tree is slowly beginning to catch fire. However, hang on. The light of the torch seems to dissipate every now and then as blood is beginning to get splattered over the fire that is beginning to get caught. But you can't fully see any of this as it's in the fog. Yeah. Bank. So you I can can't see really where the fire's see, coming so. from. Though. I'll hold. Okay. Then, Praspidus. I I'm uh, Praspidus visibly shakes himself, <sighs> tries to gather himself again, um, and then approaches the uh, shade. It stays put. And doesn't flinch. And he says, and asks, first, who are you? I am Praspitus. If you all are going to do anything, let me know. I'm going to focus on the RP from this point. Mm. Uh, Peter, uh, this uh, Brolog, excuse me, at this point, uh, go ahead and roll four more attacks, but keep those numbers in mind. Oh, and also at advantage, because recklessly, very angry. Um, oh, Zorai, I'm going to need you to make a wisdom saving throw. <clears throat> and keep it in mind, don't tell me yet. When you take a better look at this ghost, what you saw beforehand, what you saw previously, was this deformed, old and aged creature, a body that was very decomposed. It's got sunken in cheeks. It had sunken in cheeks. It was writhed and writhed in many different ways with white flowing hair. Now that you look at it, it is a soldier. It's an individual who has leather armor on, a short sword at its side, a bow strapped around its back, and long flowing blonde hair pointed elven ears, blue in form and shape from its etherealness. And it looks at you and says, My name is Farthru. I was a soldier of the Reclorian army. A guard left here to tend to the runes. I was selected by the many to be the guardian one that kept individuals like yourself away. But now that the, the many do not exist, I am free. How long ago were you appointed to be the guard for the many? I do not know. I can tell you I remember being alive at least ten days ago. Do you remember who killed you? Yes. One of the unholy creatures roaming these halls. NPCs. Um. I'm, I'm going to sigh and then I'm going to ask, can you hear a whispering 
consistently. Only when it was in the tree. The whispering has since stopped. Was it in a language you could understand? Yes. Not the same whispering I'm hearing. Um... Does this tree have any significance to you? Brolog, what's your first check? 11. Thank you. It is what made all this possible. And were it to no longer be, what would happen to you? I would be free to carry on and move on from this world. Well then, be free, and uh, I'm going to proceed to start cleaning my sword. I want to ask him a question before he straight up dips. Okay. Know of any uh, artifacts around here in your time with the, we'll call it the collective for my sake of view. The collective are a different individual, part of Andrea as a whole. The many would make more sense for myself. Okay, the many. Do Have you uh, found or seen any? There is one that spoke of a hidden chamber on the second level. I already found that one. Not the armory. Another. We can still see what happens in our bodies while we are trapped inside this form. I do believe it was you, he points at Anubisite, that terminated my form after it was reborn. Thank you. All right, so uh, where is this uh, hidden chamber? Down the stairs, towards the left, end of hall and head right. At the very end. Be careful, though. It's not like the other. They won't, they wouldn't tell me what was in it or who went in it. But what they could tell me is that they were all scared of him. They would run and leave, and even their forms previous to their death would leave. I myself never encountered him. But it's all they would talk about. We were here for him. Does he smile a lot? I do not know. I never saw him. Though I wish I did. As much as that seems strange, everyone else was terrified. I don't know if you're here for good or for bad. I don't recognize many of your races. But please, help us. Do what? Zara, what was that wisdom saving throw? Uh, no, 20. 20? Unnatural. Oh, wisdom check, okay. There is a soft voice in your head, Zarai, that says, Kill this tree. Did you say kill this tree? Yes. Ah, <laughs> good. Thought it said heal. Prologue, what was your next strength? What was your next attack? 17. 17. As you hear that voice, there is more resounding splashing and sounds of chopping coming from Brolog. And the ghost directly looks at you and says, Help him finish. That thing, I'm just going to produce flame and just... You do not produce flame. You lose a bit of a sense of your patience, the thoughts of... Steve falling again, just 
your best friend once again being felled by something enrages a part of yourself. The rest of you look upon Zara as you see his fingers elongate, his teeth elongate, and he looks at that tree with an anger and fury you have not seen in Zarai. Go ahead and make a few attack rolls using your primordial savagery, or whatever that thing's called. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Right, it's just, you were dead on primordial primal savage. savagery. Just Pri primal. primal savagery against that tree. Spell attack. So plus four. 20. Eight, fourteen. Twenty-eight and fourteen. Zara is now helping Brolog tear this tree apart. Is anyone else assisting? Nope. The ghost waves his hand one last time and says, With the last of my energies, I will help you see. And he dissipates the, f the cloud. And you all watch. I didn't actually have to do that. The audience can't see this right now. <laughs> but you all watch. The flames from that torch eventually get put out by the torrent of blood coming out of this tree. But eventually, Zarai and Brolog tear and tear and tear into its bark, ripping multiple pieces of it away. Until finally. With this loud sloshing noise, it collapses, falls, lands on the ground with what sounds like breaking limbs and splashing liquids on the ground. Right on top of Steve. When you turn to look at the ghost, they are gone. It is then that you notice Lady Galani standing there, staring at her palm. Oh, uh, so is, is, am I still hearing the, the Magus Whispers? You are still hearing the Magus Whispers. Perfect. Um, I'm going to go over to Lady Galani. Oh, yeah. Can't, We're can't also go over going over to Lady Galani. I'm already by her, so <laughs> I'm <laughs> gonna fill my uh, one of my flasks up with the blood of okay. the tree. Uh, make a note of that. Yep. Rolock is very angry and seeks to intimidate her and says, Explain now! <laughs> Without looking up. Uh, your laundry, are you doing anything in particular? You're muted. Just finishing up that heal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. At this point, yeah, you would you would have it off. So everyone add that 16 hit points to yourself. To yourselves. Cleric, now being themselves, can actually start doing the healing. Exactly. Except to the tank. <laughs> it's fine. All they have I'm to do is gonna... give you a fire. Yeah, I know. <laughs> After that's I'm... done, I'm just going to stand up and like, all right, then let Steve fly off of my shoulder. Go to Zara. He gives you a lick beforehand. Uh, I'm just going to look at the group and I'm going to say, Well, what next? That's when Brolog, Brolog yells yeah. down at Lady Galani, and she... Way down. Uh, yeah, but she's still way down. She's only about five feet up, one Ralphie. <clears throat> she looks, without looking away from her palm, and now that you're getting a better look, everyone, at, at what she's looking at, the black ooze is pulsing around this starlight gem and now rests in the ooze itself and she says quite frankly I don't know it feels like they belong together like they're supposed to be one 
It's going to take a while to get used to, but it feels stronger. Yes? Prologue is not pleased with this answer. <laughs> he attempts to hit the stone with his axe. Give me an attack roll. I'm going to, can I like, uh, I don't know how, but I see him, can I see him going for the stone? Because I think that I'm, uh, do a perception uh, check. Also reckless. Prasper. He's very reckless. Yeah. Or, or, uh, 11, sorry. Praspidus would also probably try to stop him. Uh, give me a perception. at all possible. Okay. Okay. Uh, my perception is a... I heard you 11's all right. Thank you. 19. 19. Okay, what was your attack roll? 19. 19. So, you... Zara, you no you notice this too late. You Braspidus, you notice this just in time. You begin to see him bring his blade down on this stone that is directly in the middle of her hand, and then there is a pop. As she disappears and reappears over here about 15 feet away from where everyone else was. She looks up at Brolog and says, that is not the way we figure these things out. This is an artifact. We need to have Larson take a look at this. And if he desires, we need to have someone even greater than that take a look. I would see about having maybe one of the field marshals take a gander at it, but... I don't know of any around. Well, we do not need to destroy it. Obviously, it can take a lot. It withstood what we put it through under that pressure, pulling it away from that tree. It stayed in one piece through all that. I don't think your blade coming down on it is going to destroy it. I'm going to, like, sneak up to, like, her side. Like join her side and be like, "Yeah, prologue." <laughs> Come on, man. Give me a perception check, Zara. Right. Fifteen. The black ooze is bigger. Nice. Prologue would like to perceive if she's lying or keeping things from him. Give me an insight. Two. You have no idea. <laughs> okay. In that case, Brolog assumes she is keeping something from him. Uh, moves up and says, I wasn't trying to destroy it. I was trying to knock it out of your hand. He attempts to do the same thing. Okay. This time she's prepared. And I'm here. So, make an attack roll. Twenty two. Reduced by five to ninety to seventeen <laughs> to miss. She deftly pulls her hand back and the sword just knocks your axe and it clinks against the ground. She says, you're gonna need more training before you can take me on, boy. Hey, while oh, all a challenge. of this, while all of this is happening, I'm having a little conversation with es Eshnar real quick. If I okay. need to make a religion check, I will. Make a but religion I'm just gonna, check. Yes. I'm gonna ask him. I'm gonna Ask, uh, is this stone important or do we leave it in the cave with a religion check of 19? 19. That's as good as it's going to get. Okay. What is... So give me give me a scenario of 
what your laundry rule would feel given these two situations. First off, for the first one, leaving in the cave. If you were leaving something that you found very important behind, what would you feel? It would depend on how important it is. Very important. And uh, what I'm Life asking... Life-altering important. Okay. If it's for good, as in this thing is going to help us for good, then I'd definitely have second thoughts about leaving it. But if it was going to do bad stuff, I wouldn't fucking hesitate. So to leave it in this cave and maybe find a way to seal off the cave. Keep in mind, this is going to be based off Eshnar's reaction, but yes. it's more of an understanding of if you are, what is the most important thing to your laundry? Well, that's a better question right now. Getting home still. What if he was never able to do that? What would he feel? Uh, at this point, he'd be highly upset. Suck with me. All of his last that is what you feel when you think about leaving it when you think about the importance of this stone you just get highly upset as if you would never see your home again so as in leaving it's going to be a problem leaving it is that what you're problem. saying that's the best you can get that's that's what you can understand right now okay uh As if Hold leaving on. it, if you left it, you would never yeah. see home again. Do I have time to cast sleep on Brolog? Or to at least try to? <laughs> you have time to state that and start that process. Yes, that's so, what I'm going to do. I will keep that in mind. Paraspitus. Are you doing anything specific yeah. right now? I'm lighting a torch and walking out into the hallway. Okay. While you're lighting the torch, give me a wisdom check. I'm intelligent, not wise. But I rolled all right. 16? 16. Some of the words make sense. Ooh. Some of the phrases begin to be understood. For the sake of uh, making sure Discord can actually get my voice through, I won't do the whispering voice. Because that is what it comes in. It comes in as a whispering voice. But it says... Created for the one. Created for the many. Taking the many for the one. Um, so while I'm walking out towards the hallway, I'm going to start mumbling to myself, uh, in common. Um, the one? The many? What? This doesn't make any sense at all. I can't actually see, by the way. So uh, I don't that know where is I'm because going. you cannot see. Uh, but, but you I have a torch. A torch. <laughs> uh, keep in mind, everyone who lit torches, decrease your count of torches in your inventory by one. It was Watches. just me and I marched. I, I already did. Okay, good. Because no one else realized either they don't have them or they just didn't realize they have them. Oh, everyone has them. <laughs> I think everyone I figured has them. I figured as much, but I was just like, okay. Because yeah. I was just like, oh, you need light. Not everyone. Okay. Brolog, is there anything you're doing right now? Uh, Nubisai as well. And Zarai. Need to touch on you all real quickly. I'm gonna tell Brolock, hey, watch it. Try it again. I know what you care for. Let it go. You're muted, Brolock. You're muted. <laughs> <laughs> the anthem of our life. Praspidus left without saying anything. Correct. That's correct. He did. He is out of your sight now. Is Anubisai saying anything? 
<laughs> the face he just made. <laughs> Prologue. I hope you will forgive me for punching you in the face. Okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it, it should be enough to break his concentration. Prologue is very confused by that. Uh... Yeah, make a make a con save. You, yes, Prologue, Prologue make a con okay. save. 16. So I put this at an 18 in my mind because technically you shouldn't still be enraged because you've been attacking a lot, but at this point... I've been counting, rage. if that matters to you. Uh, at this point, you do drop rage. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, You're confused enough to the point where your emotions kind of stabilize a bit. Okay. Uh, the confusion makes him hesitate on a, a third attempt to... Hit the stone. Uh, and he turns from the lady in disgust, uh, comes over to Anubisai and says, Thank you, my friend. Of course, anytime. Forever. <laughs> uh, and then uh, follows uh, Paraspitus. See, it accomplished what I wanted it to accomplish. Lady Galani looks down at the stone again, then looks up at you, Anubisai. Thank you. I must admit, I've only been with him for about a few moments now, but I'm beginning to understand your form a lot better. Let's start heading home. I think we've got the time to search the rest of the catacomb and then head out. Besides, she looks at the stone On again. one condition. Yes? Catacombs are now mine. To be frank, I have no right to give you that. I have no right to tell you that they are yours, but also to be frank, this shouldn't be in my possession, so they're all yours, Anubisai. Have at it. She begins riding off with Ralphie. Hello. Zara is off, confused. She looks back at you, Zara, and says, <laughs> Come along, then. Come along, boy toy. As we're going along, I'm taking another drink of my beer, because I've just literally just lost it all get out. I have no idea what just happened. She looks at you, Zara, and says, Can I have my sword back, please? Oh, yeah. Hmm. She takes it, looks down... Drops it on the ground and continues moving on. Oh, I'm picking that up, but yeah. Okay, you pick it up. Add a add a longsword to your inventory. It longsword. I'm proficient in longswords. I don't think you are. I think you're proficient with sword, I'm, short swords. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. But it's in my inventory. I got a longsword. It's, it's just on my back. I will create one that's named Lady Galani's Longsword. It is a very beautiful, jewel encrusted silver and gold longsword with a fine metal that makes the, the blade of it itself. It is I am very running limited. out of money. True. Yep. True. True enough. <laughs> uh, Lady Galani continues moving. Your laundry on. Are you doing anything? People are yeah, I'm going to be the chance. last one. I'm going to be the last one to leave this particular room. And I'm going to like stand there for a second, like looking around. And then I'm going to look at my halberd and catch my crescent shaped reflection in the blade. And I'm just going <laughs> to ask out loud, what the fuck am I doing? In your ear, you hear a whisper. 
saving me. Okay, then I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna like put the halberd on my back and say out loud, and you better hold up your end of the bargain. <laughs> you can't help but smile for some reason. But as soon as you notice, the smile disappears very quickly. Braspidus. Is there a door in front of me? In front of my character in roll 20? Mm, there is not. Okay, just wanted to ask because the wall kind of looked like yeah, a door. No. So okay. I just wanted to make yeah. sure. Uh, considering the fact that you moved ahead of everyone and it was quite a while before people started moving, Brolog, you left in time for this to happen as well. Paraspidus, roll an intelligence check for me. 14. Okay. As you're walking along down the corridor, you hear a faint ting. Oh, I forgot As about the trap. As you trigger the trap that you all manage to step <laughs> over, Brolog and Braspidus, I need you both to make Damn dexterity it. saving throws for me. Oh. I love traps that people miss and then don't deactivate and then have to walk over again. I love being with the fly. Yeah, it's been great. <laughs> it's amazing. 16. Oh, I hate this. Wings. 16. Brolog, what's yours? Um, I get a advantage on that, I think, for my danger, danger sense. sense. Yes, yes, you okay. do. You are correct. Good, good. Natty one, natty one. <laughs> oh, God. What? What was the advantage on it, though? Natty one, natty one. Natty one. Two natty ones. They're both Two natty one. one. Wait, what? Why is that? All right, Will. Well, all right. Fine, <laughs> that's okay. Uh, Brolog, you take a full eight points of piercing damage, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Paraspidus, you take four points of piercing damage. As arrows... 20 on that con save. 20 on con, Okay. You are not poisoned. Congratulations. Zarai, you and Lady Galani would have rounded that corner. Anubisai, I think you would, would it be just right behind them. Is that correct? I think that was a yes, but you're muted. Of course, I have to be part of the group here. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're just behind. So Wait, you, you, you can read wolf lips now? Wow. It just... It, it, I guess I can, because it looked like it did. <laughs> it looked like a yes to me. But you all round the corner just in time to see these arrows begin shooting out of the wall. And you hear this, Gah! as Brolog and Anubis and uh, Praspidus are uh, hit. I'm really I'm bad on names today. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> and Praspidus uh, were hit by these arrows. Percy says uh, a string of curses in, in Magus. Okay. Keep talking, Magus. I like this. Lady Galani, by the way, was very messed up by you all. Yeah. Somebody, well, she she probably got healed. She got that six. The, uh, did she get? She 16? did get that 16. She there was enough sick. people, yeah. 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 But that that sucked. 16 plus 5, that's 21. She's back up to 38, but... Uh, Still higher than me. Yeah. She's a higher level. She's a general. Anyway, oh, you all continue down the path. Praspidus in the lead. Brolog quickly catching up because Brolog is faster, being a is, barbarian. Although he's not at level five yet. What are you looking at? That, that is rubble. Uh, no. So, if you turn the corner, that's rubble. Rubble blocking the path and blocking the area. Bummer. That would have you behind everyone else, though. So we can actually effectively move away yeah, from Roll20 just, just, and just, we can go into okay. a description yeah. basis here. Because Roll20 will just slow and bulk things down a bit. I'm just staying with Lady Glani wherever she's staying after. She that, is. I'm try to catch up to her. She is uh, quickly following after Brolog. 
with Anubisai close behind and Yolandru behind in the end of the group. Uh, just just a note. I am going to use roll 20 to explore around, but I'll I'll point to it and be like, hey, is this a doorway if I need any anything from you? Okay. Just so we know where I'm where I'm going. We are clearing this place, right? Damn straight. I don't remember where the exit is anyway. Just happened. I do know where the, do you guys remember where the, well, actually, yeah, that's what, one thing I did mean to ask. Did everyone hear about the past, uh, the secret room? Everyone would have heard that, yeah. yes. That okay. was communicated just to, to everyone. Just, just wanted to make sure. Oh. So that's one thing we definitely have to check out. I say before we leave. And uh, as you, when you all explore through the rest of this dungeon, it is the exact same way. Um, it's damp, it's cold. There's some areas where ruinic, not ruinic, dwarven inscription is put on places, but it's never fully complete. You can never fully actually read what it's supposed to say. You reach other places where spots that you didn't see, that you never explored, that have skeletal structures on the ground, but when you poke at them, they don't come back. They don't rise up again. You get into areas that you did explore. Zarai, you follow those instructions to Left the end. Left the stairs and at the end of the hall on Left the right. the stairs. Good job. You remembered perfectly. So, uh, who is all accompanying Zarai for that? Who would like to be there when he does that? I'm attempting to leave. Um, whether or not I remember the direction out is completely theoretical at this point. Okay. The log stays with grass for this. I guess just Anubis. So then just Anubis. I got Lady Guys, I'm sorry. Sorry I found a trap. I killed him. Uh, Lady Yolani's uh, <laughs> accompanying as well. Yolandriel, where are you going? Uh, I'm just going to hang out in kind of the in-between. I'm I'm in my own business right now. I'm not really too concerned with <laughs> okay. what Zara me, and Nubazai are doing. While you're roaming around this place, give me, give me an arcana, a religion, and then an, another religion. Okay. Okay. Zara, yes. While we're walking, I'm just producing flame next to Anubisai. Healing like, her up. Okay. Just like, just like, kind of, just like passively, just holding it in my hand. Lady Galoni looks behind and says, "Why are you doing that? Why are you heating her up?" What's uh, going? Yeah, oh, my thoughts actually. Why your hand was chopped off? <laughs> why is it back? Nothing can hurt me for long. <laughs> and either say That's a strict that's a true statement. I <laughs> I can regenerate from anything. Even without fire. It just takes a long time. I think when it comes down to it, Anita Sai, we're gonna get along quite well. That's yet to be seen. <laughs> we both love a fight. Nothing keeps us down. It's not much different from us. She says as she blinks across the ten-foot pit of spikes that you all revealed earlier. Except you're probably one one hundred of my age. Speaking of which... Braspidus, as you're walking along, when Brolo catches yeah. up, he looks older. How much older? A lot. Give me a I'm gonna... perception check. Oh, give me an insight. Insight. As the insight. rest of you are finishing going along up to that hidden location. What's your insight? A natural 20 for a total of 23. He looks ah. at least 40 years older than what he was. Wow. And uh, from my knowledge of Loxodon and what his age possibly was before, is that significantly bad or eh? Putting it in human terms, he's gone from being in his late 20s to being in his early 40s. Oh, 
That is significant. Uh, Brolog, are you feeling all right? He's waiting for the cue cards. <laughs> Brolog, <laughs> make a con check quickly. He's waiting for the cue cards. <laughs> 24. 24. Now that you're moving your joints, they feel just minutely stiffer. Just a little different. You feel less energetic. Just like... Um, I feel sore. Hmm. Yes. Kind of like it's been a long ten years in one day. Yes. I do not like these ten years. <laughs> Neither do I. We'll have to get some good rest in when we uh, get out of this cursed place. Rolo, go ahead and make note. You have aged 40 years. <laughs> You've gone from 67 to 107 now. <laughs> it's just a flat yeah you aged <laughs> no so. healing from that sir <laughs> that was a bad wisdom save for the possession mm. uh, when you all uh, yep I was going to say my age is 103 Three, so oh, okay. 63. Or 63, so about 100. 103 now. Okay. You are now 103 years old. Mm. Zorai, you reached the location that the ghost told you to get to, and it looks like a stone wall. Perception check up on that piece. I'm going to want, roll one for me and Steve. He's actually got pretty good perception considering he's a pseudo dragon. Okay, oh, do it with advantage because Anubis is assisting you. Nat 20 from me, so. You, you've you seen this kind of mechanism before. I mean, when you found the, the armory, there was a small little switch, a little small button, a stone that didn't belong where it was. You find another one, and you instinctively push. There is a... <laughs> as the wall slides down into the area, and on the inside, you see a very neatly made office there is a desk a candle stand it is still dark inside no lights but there's a table with papers thrown all around a skew and a chair kind of slid out back and a cot on the side and a chest in the end the cot go into the chest lady galani joins you is there a lock on it or there is a lock on it I am gonna so hands last time grab my dagger and just try to just continuously god you open. guys are just so terrible at this. give me an attack actually bro. no oh wait I'll oh, just reach down a... and absorb it yeah no I'm gonna shape water I'm gonna do something a little bit different I'm gonna put shape water in the lock and try and crack it. So it's like Okay. Uh <laughs> I will tell you now. That'll never work. So as you shape <laughs> water into the lock, Anubisite reaches down, grabs hold of the lock, and just absorbs the metal. I need all of well, you I was to gonna make freeze dexterity it. saving throws. Rip. Yeah. I all, I mean assuming you mean all in the room. Everyone in that yeah. room, so uh, Zarai, Steve, Lady Galani, Ralphie, and Anubisai. It's stuck on the edge. Yeah, that's stuck on the edge. Roll again. That's 20. Plus 3. Plus 3? Okay. That's for you. How about Steve? That's right. <laughs> Karma's a bitch. That's, uh... 5. Okay. What was yours, Anubisai? 18. 18. Okay, so Nubasai, you pass. Zarai, you pass. Steve fails. Surprise, surprise. A five fails. 
Lady Galani passes with a natural 20 as well. I look at her as we both instinctively do the exact same thing, and I'm like... And Ralphie passes with just what he needs, an 18. Fire Although, actually, anyway. Nubisai, I don't know why I made you make the save. This is fire damage. Yeah. None of this does anything huh. to you. Same for me. The lock Can I block it all, then? Resistance. He's completely oh, immune to it. You're just gotcha. resistant to it. That's right. Uh, given your stance, it wouldn't be blocking all of it. I'll reduce the damage by half, naturally, because you are absorbing a good chunk of it for the fire damage. But... That is 12, 15, 18, 19, 24, reduced by half to 12, to 12 for uh, Anubisai basically grabbing hold of the fireball as it explodes. So those who passed take three points of fire damage. Those who failed take six. No, those who failed take 12. Those who passed take six. Lady Galani and Ralphie are still up. They are still good. Steve is still up. A large explosion of fire erupts and engulfs the entire room. The chest looks okay. It looks singed. The, the bed is on fire, and a lot of the papers on the desk are on fire. And uh, can I rush to try to put out some of the papers? Give me a dexterity or a athletics. Acro yeah, athletics. We'll go with athletics. Fifteen. What was that? Sixteen? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. You managed to put out a good chunk. Some of them are damaged, but most of them have been put out. At this point, give me a perception. Fourteen. This language doesn't make any sense to you. I'm going to grab all the papers up anyways and just throw them in my bag. Okay. At that See, point... Maybe perhaps this might know what they mean. An Anubisai, anything you're doing after that fireball engulfs around, heals you, and damages your party members? Um, can we say between that and what Zara is doing, I'm full up? Yeah. Yeah, you're definitely full up at this point. With a constant produced flame just on you and going through those corridors. And after that, it's a good chunk of damage. You you are full up. Okay. Um, does anything in this room pique my interest? Look necromonic? Give me a perception. Uh, investigation. Ta -da! Oh, it teased from a 15 to a 20. I love how that t dice teases. Yeah, it's a good mechanic. Let me just... Yes. Actually. Two things. Three things, technically. Three things. Three things. First, the stone in Lady Galani's possession screams necromantic energy. The second, the black ooze around Lady Galani is also necromantic. The third is in the chest. Open the chest after I tell everyone to stand back. Lady Galani raises her shield and says, You don't have to tell me twice. And stands back. No, I'm standing right near it, right behind him as he Well, I'm right there as he's open. You're opening, putting so out the flames on the they're desk getting, at this time. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. right. That's right. That's right. I look, look over my shoulder. You open the chest. It appears the lock was the trap, not the chest itself. Inside the chest, there are a series of things, a couple of sacks that look like they have coins in them, a ring, a glass vial that has a liquid moving inside of it, and what looks to be a different kind of metal shirt. 
It's a chain shirt of some kind, but finer metal than just iron. Better Can I tell which was giving me the necro vibes? The ring. Take the ring. Put it in one of my compartments. I see he's opened it and I grabbed the other two things. You're too far away. You are packing up the papers at this look. point. Oh, I'm so bad. Sorry, we're you, trying to work you, on the time. You put out the... Yeah, so while you're putting out the flames on the desk and packing up those papers, Lady Galani and Anubisai are raiding the chest. She looks into it. <laughs> she grabs the, the vial with the liquid in it. It's this grayish kind of vial with that separates in the middle with a single spherical liquid that's separated from everything else, kind of floating up and down. So I think Larson will enjoy this. Pockets it. Grabs a couple of the sacks of coins. Looks at you, Anubis, and like, that your take? The ring? Yeah. Well, grabs the chain shirt. Anubisai, or not, it's, oh, pff, mother got it <laughs> wrong again. <sighs> What's my name? Thank you. Zarai throws the shirt at you and says, there you go. That could help. We've got ours. Maybe that one could be yours. Then looks I at the- I see a couple coins of, uh, or purses of coins over there and a vial. She, you missed the vial. You did not right, see her so pocket. I, that. All right, so I see a couple of, uh, your That's attention fun, your attention would be grabbed to her when she told, called out your name and threw the chain at you. The chain shirt at you. So the vial you completely missed. Alright, so I missed the vial. Yep. And she looks at the coin purses. Hey, I'm just taking a look at it. What have you found over there? Papers. <laughs> Papers in an unknown language. <laughs> oh, can I look? What's in it for me? Can stay you guys alive. got you guys got first pick. What? You went over there first. That was your Thanks, first. Is pick. fire. You want to look at what's on the papers? It's got to be something <laughs> for me. I'll translate for you. Maybe I'll just give you all these coins to your entire party. Of course, I wouldn't give them to you, Zara. You just keep them for yourself, you greedy bastard. I'd give them to Praspitus so he could disseminate as he sees pleased. Well, that was my plan with the papers, but now. Anubisai is like... I don't well, I'm not saying it. I want to take the papers. I just... yeah, you say you want to look at them. What are you... Hey, if you don't want to show them to me, I'll walk out. I pull out two pieces of paper. I don't know how many I got, roughly, but... You, I mean, so... I want to know what they say. Hey, yeah. you, you pulled out... You, you saved a good chunk. First, there's an entire tome that despite the fact of the magic going around, is untouched and unscorched. The other papers around, there's corners singed off, other little bits, some of the script is gone, but the rest of it's still there. And of the two papers, you've maybe taken two papers out of a stack of 50. Okay, so That's I That's like not including them, so the tone. I hand them to a uh, new beside. See if I can read them. You cannot. Though you do recognize them. As oh. you cannot read the language, you will always be able to recognize the Magus language as it's written on a piece of paper. <laughs> you learned about 500 years ago that you will never be able to read Magus. Yeah. But you know what it looks like. And I haven't been around enough of them to learn how to speak it yet. Mm -hmm. Anything? Yeah, it's in Magus. Oh. I grab the papers back, put them back in the pile. You want to see, uh, Lady? Go on, G. If it's in Magus, then you're just going to have to give that to Paraspatus. None of us are going to be able to read it. Larson told me before we left. Fair enough, but I offered. Hey, no. you did. Here. She chucks you a coin. One there coin? One single coin. Uh, it doesn't look gold. It doesn't look silver. It doesn't look copper. It looks like platinum. Which is worth 10 yeah. gold. So she tucks you a single platinum coin and says, There's your reward. Girl, it's all I've done for you. 
she satchels up the coin purses, starts riding away, pats you on the back of the leg and says, Hey, there's more you're gonna do, and keeps going on. Is there Probably. In the room that is unsinged. There's a, a dresser. It looks like maybe the internal components of it are not singed. I'm just waiting for Zyra to go. I follow her out of the room. Tell Marty on our coattail. Father, what do you mean? Lonnie leaves, I'm gone. Like, come on. So I'll look through the dresser. Expect the expected. It is filled with finer clothes. The nice in make, but not extravagant. They're not peasant clothes, but they're not royal clothes. And just to be fair, I'm going to turn and walk away, though I know what's in there. Okay. Don't care about clothes. Eventually, Praspidus, Prologue, you make it out of the caves. Your laundry will you're soon after. Your semi-paying attention to self-quest led you, for the most part, out into the grassy greens of the forest areas. What did my checks get me? Jack Diddley. They were oh, very Not low. even that 19? Not even that 19? Oh, wait, one of them was a 19? Yeah, one. Oh, one I thought it was a 9. I missed that one. Nope. 10, 19, 4. There is... You can feel Eshnar present, as if his gaze is upon you. He's not talking to you right now, but you get the sense that he probably will soon. All right, that's fine. I'm not really into talking to him kind of mood right now. Anyway. So, Braspidus and Brolog. Braspidus, you get out first. Hearing the forest the birds around you see look around you see it's about close to maybe four o'clock maybe getting close to the end of the day you smell in the breeze and get the first the whispers wisp the whispers are gone oh thank the gods all right i take a deep breath i go over to a tree i lean back against it and i slowly slide to the floor looking at the cave entrance it seems strange to look at the cave entrance knowing what's within knowing that you've encountered something that you cannot explain not even remotely Brolog comes walking out of the cave entrance Spots you. Brolog, what do you do? Uh, how far back is Yolandriel? He's about 50 feet away from the cave entrance. Uh, okay. Collapsed at the foot of a tree. You mean... No, oh, Yolandriel. Yolandriel. <laughs> Mother <laughs> is getting names wrong all yeah. night. They so. may begin with the same letter, but they don't sound like they begin you, with the same letter. <laughs> So, your laundrial is going to be a little ways out. You don't quite know. Okay, so it's not within distance of me seeing him. Or... No. Okay, in that case, Brolog goes up to Braspidus and says, mm, Braspidus, mm, I don't trust the lady. If I was on my own, I would attempt to kill her now. But I owe to you. So I am unsure of how to proceed. I have the feeling that Praspidus is very tired, by the way. Oh, Brolog also very tired. (laughs) Uh, uh, Yeah, his age is catching up to him. It's 6 p.m. It's bedtime. Um, If you command me not to attack her, I won't. But I will be looking for it. 
opportunities. Prosper sighs deeply. Prologue. I will admit to you that I don't trust her any more than you do at this point. However, we do need her right now. So preferably don't kill her. Um, if you would like to blame someone for why we need her, you can blame Zarai and your laundry. Oh. Um, I'll let you know whether or not I want you to kill them later. <laughs> don't, don't kill them later. I'm just really irritated at the moment. Um, but yeah, pre preferably just don't, don't, don't kill any of our party members at the moment. As you will. Your laundry, this is about when you exit. Okay. Uh, yeah. I just exit. Then I walk to the group. The three of us. Um, when you walk up, Prasper just looks here and goes, thank you, your Andriel, for this absolutely wonderful excursion into badness. Yeah, you're welcome. I say, and I don't break eye contact as I enter... Uh, radiant form and go fly for a minute because <laughs> I don't want to talk to him. <laughs> uh. <laughs> there is a few moments pass by when eventually Zarai, Anubisai, Lady Galani all exit. A few of them with uh, scorch marks that weren't there before. And I look I looking brand new, shiny. It's shiny <laughs> as ever. The damage Do done I... to a non-existent. Can I wear that shirt that you gave me? You can. All right, I'm wearing you it. You can. It is. The way he said it makes me feel like you shouldn't wear that shirt. It is. No, I, he should. You can go ahead and add an adamantian armor chain shirt to your inventory, and equip it. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Should increase your AC. That Adam is very good for you, Zarai. Adamantium chainmail. Adamantium chain, chain shirt. Chain shirt. Rangers are not Got efficient it. in chainmail, but they are in chain shirts. I checked. Best French. <laughs> Hey, as you I'm all... the same as Steve now. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> as you all exit, Lady Galani's riding through. You can see there are tears in her shirt, in her pants, in areas. But you can't see skin underneath these tears of the shirt. There is a blackness to it instead. Almost as if the organism and substance that accompanies her is keeping her modesty. She continues on through, sees you collapse at the chair and says, That's not a bad idea. We may as well camp out of this spot for the night. I'll start setting up. Anubisai, if you'd like to help. Zare. I think Parasmus will want to see those books as soon as possible. I just got papers. Books. What are you talking about? The book, you got a whole tome as well. Remember, 50 pages and a tome. I mutter <laughs> under my breath. Prasperus yeah. brightens up and leans forward. Book? I hand him the pages, the 50 pages first, and keep the tome hidden. I'm going to surprise him with it later. Just so you know. Right. Hang on. And they're written in uh, Magus, right? They are. As she's riding oh, away, perfect. she shouts out, And the tome, you ass! Oh yeah, where's the gold? As I'm pulling it, I'm saying, or the money as I'm pulling it out. She stops, <laughs> grabs one of the sacks, chucks it your way and says, There you go, there's your share, you dick. With a bit of a <laughs> smile on her face. 
she smiles at you and then continues on her way. Looks like she's going to go get some wood for the uh, fire for camping out. Uh, you can add I'm... nine more platinum to your inventory. A total oh, nice. of ten. You should have a total of ten platinum. Everybody? Nope, just Zarai for now. Ha. Huh. So Zara. You know, after giving the tome, I'm gonna I'm gonna chase her back out there. I'm gonna okay, help her. so you're going after. You're going after her. Your laundry old brolog, anything you two are doing. I'm flying. <laughs> what are you doing? Until I'm done. I'm that flying. That was a around. minute. That you're happened. Flying we got back way after it, that. You you're down oh, at, the, way after. at this point, okay. yeah. Okay, when I land, I kinda look over the group with this look on my face of like And I take off my armor and set it down next to a tree, and I lay down and roll over, and take a longer guess. <laughs> Prologue. Uh, without the look of disgust, Prologue will also do the same. Okay. Zarai and Anubisai. Uh, so Anubisai first. As you're going along. Lady Galani looks at you and says, I didn't understand what you were fully. It told me a little a bit about yourself. You could feel what you are, what you did. I don't know the details, but I know better than to challenge you now. I hope. Yeah. Good. You might live longer then. <laughs> that would be the pleasure. If I don't, who knows what to say would have happened to me. Well, if you die, please have the grace of dying in my presence. Nubasai, you're not here, jackass. No, no. She's talking to Nubasai first. Remember, she brought Nubasai. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. oh we you're came back. chasing after her. Oh. Yeah, she's having a discussion with Nubasai first. Oh, my bad. You're good. You're fine. And she, yeah, she actually me. laughs at what you say in Ubisoft and says, If I do die, I hope it isn't your pleasure because I don't believe in an afterlife of any kind. So if my death pays someone else, then by all means, give it to you. You're right. We might get along. <laughs> I'm not scared of death in Ubisoft. I'm scared of being controlled. You're fun to fight by. I hope in the future, if I need anyone, I can call on you. I will never make that promise to anyone. I think I can understand that. Either way, if you want a good fight, and your glory is at war with Lebon again, all you need to do is find me. I'll find you the best. I'll keep that in mind. And that ring, by the way. Don't tell anyone. I'm not. And she continues riding on. Do you know what it is? No. I hope you find out soon. Do I catch get to work. any of this conversation? Work. You do not. You catch it as she's riding away. Also depends on what language you're speaking. That too. She would have been speaking gnomish or a halfling the entire time. Which I think you can speak. Yeah, if it's anything of the regulars, I can speak. Yeah, it. yeah. But Zara, you do catch up to her fairly quickly at that point. I'm starting to put... I'm just going to explain it to you before I RP. I'm noticing that she kept her artifact and I want to keep my artifact. 
It's like I'm connected. I'm not the smartest guy, but I have enough to put two and two together. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna. So if it doesn't come off as that, just know that's what I'm going for. Okay. So that uh, starlight crystal. You gonna report that, or are you keeping that for yourself? She looks at you with a bit of a gaze, and I thought you'd figured it out by now, Zare. Oh, of course I'm not. Mm -hmm. As far as I'm concerned, we went in there, we found nothing, and then we left. So this? Nothing, right? I have no idea what you're talking about. I like you. I also want to say, I don't know if you noticed, but that black mass got a little bit bigger. It is. You're a fucking sex pest. It is. She says this as it begins to crawl along all of her skin. It goes up her arm. You can see inside the marks and the tears inside her cloak and her clothes. It moves up, covers her entire skin, goes up her neck around her face, and then starts to cover some of Ralphie as well. And it is no longer a black ooze. It looks like a black crystalline structure. Oh, hell yeah. And she moves, laughs. And... Uh. That's why I don't wear any armor. This does it for me. Go ahead. Give it a try. Uh. <laughs> she holds out her arm which has a black <laughs> substance on it and says strike it with that dagger of yours Fifteen. you bring your blade down and it ching, bounces right off Damn. I also kind of suck at this, so. <laughs> You're better at archery. I'll have to show you my arrows. Ah, uh, oh? actually is debatable as well, but that's where my arrows come in handy. She kind of hits you on the side a little bit playfully. And so I'll show you a few of them when we get back. For now, let's focus on gathering some wood and heading out. Getting back to the camp and getting a good rest. That was a lot. It was. Almost lost Steve again. <laughs> I don't know what I would have done if I would have lost him again. She does not reply to that and continues gathering wood. Doesn't do emotional. Paraspidus. <laughs> Those papers. Shot. What have I got? You have got a lot of papers and a tome that is filled. By your reckoning... Is it all in Magus? It's all in Magus. Can I read it? No, you cannot. Give me an intelligence Didn't check. think so. Uh, let me do so. Head. It is very foreign to you. But it is a language. Oh, it is Magus. You can definitely see that it is Magus. Okay, I'm going to definitely spend a long time studying this stuff. Also, uh, one thing I'd like to do is try and compare it to some other Magus that I might remember from other people's writings. Because as far as I know, this may be uh, my mentor's writing. But, well, okay. it, it's not her writing. I know it's not her writing because I'd be so, able to read her writing. I would say give me give me another intelligence check. Six. You really can't tell. I mean, it's from what you're remembering, you you are more focused on everything that has gone very wrong in your life in the mm -hmm. past twenty days. Oh yeah, and you can't quite remember any of the other scripts that the Omegas have given to you. You it just it, you can't make heads or tails of it. You can see the similar vernaculars of the writing between every Magus. But the direct definition of it is lost. 
So uh, I'm going to start mumbling to myself in Magus, and uh, and it sounds like I'm frustrated, annoyed, and very angry. But I'm going to continue Where are you starting? perusing these pages. Um, the first, the the page that's on. I don't know how they were stacked, but the page that was on the top. I'm going to start right there. You've got a large, maybe about 500 tome book, and mm -hmm. 50 loose page papers. Yep. That, that page on the top of those 50 loose page papers, that's where I'm starting. Right. Zara, the tome, would you have the tome differentiated in any way? There would be some semblance of like organization as far as... We just, all like, know. I, they're, he just I kind of I kind of want like this, but no, that's what I'm, bag. but no, that's what I'm saying, though. Like, if, I, if I'm pushing the papers together, there's some semblance of top to bottom organization. Okay. There's going to be some mishaps here and there. Are the but... loose papers on top, or are they all on bottom? Or is there a mix match between... What? Is he starting with the tome or is he starting with the papers? Oh no, I, I wanted to start with the. No, I wanted to start with the papers. With the papers. The papers? I, I okay. purposefully wanted to start with the papers. The tome you is are... a tome, right? The yeah. tome is a tome. It is. It's very thick and huge tome that was unscorched. The papers are all scorched. There's yeah, when yeah, you look through with the, the papers, papers, you can see that there are segments that are gone that you won't mm -hmm. be able to fully interpret no matter what. The tome has no damage on it at all. No so damage you, at all. And and the tome was also in Magus? Also in Magus. The entirety okay, of it. Good. Every page filled. Perfect. As you begin Perfect. to look at the tome and begin to study it. Actually, let's start I am with, starting with the pages. So, very good. Thank you. Zarai, Anubisai, for brevity's sake, will say you've made it back to camp made a, for, uh, a fire. This time, Lady Galani, she actually invites you, Zarai, to sit next to her and join in using Ralphie as a pillow for the night. And, like, laughs and jokes around with you and coming, talks to you to try to get to know you a bit more. Oh, God. And she does thank you. She does say, you tried to keep them off me. And I know they're your friends and they're your teammates, but you did do your best. <laughs> I do appreciate that, Zare. Anytime, just ask. <laughs> well, it took me asking last time, so hopefully next time I won't have to. Fair enough. Hmm. Hey, you want I... a drink? And I give her some of the good stuff. Looks at it. Who's Brew? This is. What was his name? Tell me the town. I don't remember. Oh, fuck it. Who cares? She unscrews <laughs> it and drinks down half of it and hands it back to you. Ugh. Oh. Oh, that's fucking murdering. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> God, they're quality, like, craft marks, so just... No! Don't give me the flavoured stuff. Just give me the fucking strong stuff. That's the best. Wasn't there the strong stuff? That was it the strong it was stuff. the strong stuff, but Marjoram, they do more of yeah, a, a God, yeah. infused flavour strong stuff, which is disgusting. Bastards. Yeah. Is it really that bad? I haven't tried it yet. You haven't <laughs> tried it yet. It's really that bad. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. You want one? <laughs> so, no! So you're better off pouring that into the river. Either way. Oh, no, that, that's, that's just a waste, and I finished the other half. Oh, God. Make a con save. Where's my gun? There it is. 14. 14. It makes you want to regurgitate, but you don't. You keep everything down. <laughs> So it really is disgusting. It's, not, it, it's, it's foul. It's not, it's not that, it's what, not that bad. There's no nutmeg in that at all. It's gross. <laughs> it's disgusting. Ugh. But you eventually get to a point of the night where you manage to fall asleep. Yeah. Okay. And your laundry will you fall asleep. Brolog, you're asleep. Anupasai, you're keeping watch. The statue mode, so to speak. Actually, I want to try some stuff. but Okay. 
What do you, what would you like to do? I would like to take the new ring after everyone's gone to sleep. And I'm, I'm going to try the methodology of absorption, but I'm not going to absorb it. I'm going to try and see if I can get a feel of what it does. You know, so I'm, so I'm kind of like, you know, communing with the metal, remembering. He's, he's trying to cast thing. identify without having to cast identify. Well, I, yeah, alone. I can't That's cast anything. Like, I'm alone. trying to, trying to do something new. Yeah. It may not work. I will say, give me, at this point of your stage, give me a constitution check. No! <laughs> no! Oof. So... Is that like a first party for you? Up to. <laughs> He's going to absorb that ring and we're not going to have that ring anymore, isn't it? Isn't that... That's exactly what's it's, about to happen. Whatever you, magic that was going to be is now gone. <laughs> could be. You or is now Anubis Eye. The ring, and you begin to try to feel it. There is a sense of absorption happening. You can oh. feel that you are trying to do that, but then at the same time, it, it, it's not working for some reason. It's just not working. It's not absorbing into you. You can't tell what it is. It's just another magical ring. Okay. Put it away. Okay. Can you my watches? It feels like the ring, it is magical, and the only reason it wasn't absorbed into you was because of that magic. I wasn't technically trying to absorb it. Through the process of trying to understand what it did, you almost by accidentally absorbed it. I absorbed it, yeah, okay. Get to you in a moment, Praspidus. Your laundry room. If yes, you sir. finally manage to get some sleep, you find yourself in a very similar and familiar rain. Lost mm -hmm. in the sky, clouds below your feet, and much more around you. Hey. I think you're going to hate me for this. Uh, probably, all right. That means I'm gonna love you, JP. Probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> I'm just trying to find some really good music. I'm trying. Let's go. I liked this one. It was good. Before you is a very cleanly cut stone surface. Elegant and marble in make with black and white and gold and silver all around. Celestial type columns standing and raising up into the air. It breaks apart in front as if you're on an island itself that floats through the sky and the surface itself. The light and their area around you seems golden in essence. Seems pure in many ways. And in front, there is a being that stands, turns, looks at you with a smile. It has a mark that leads from the center mark at this point upwards and around. And he says, Yolandria, I think it's time we talked. It's good to finally see you in person. You've carried my celestial for quite some time now. That's where we're going to leave you. 
Prosperous. As you're perusing through these notes, there is a voice in your head, one you haven't heard in half a year. Hello? Is anyone there? Please, help me. He's found me. Oh God, Prasbet, is, is that you? Uh, what was what was the princess's name again? Costia. 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 Yes. Yes, it's me. That's, How are you talking to me right now? That is where we are going to end the night. This guy, double cliffhanger. Ha! <laughs> so good. Yeah, how's it feel? I'm gonna. I have had words two of them. I'm gonna I had two of them within man. the last four weeks. <laughs> Five weeks? <laughs> Not the other. Oh, yeah, I've had three, was... actually. Mm. I've that had check. three. That's actually It was those annoying. checks, yo. Those checks mm -hmm. of yours. I couldn't leave it with just did, one. Did I age? Sorry you did not. You. you did not. Yeah, so, <laughs> Rolog aged because he failed the save of five or plus. Did he Steve age? A... Steve did not age. Steve did not fail it that badly. Brolog rolled an eight for a save of 13. So he failed at five or plus. So Brolog aged one d4 times ten, and I rolled that a d4 four. at four. So Brolog aged forty years. Ouch! Yeah. You all this fuck, I, boy. I had to do a double check on. How Don't you guys live for like eight hundred years though? Yeah, I got six hundred more years to go. Yeah. 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 So, so really, in reality, he wouldn't have like looked like he aged that. Well, it would be a one, couple more the, wrinkles. You the know, one I found lines. said Loxodon, <laughs> The one I found at the moment said Loxodons live up to two hundred and fifty years. Hmm. So. I'm going to do a little bit more research into that and then kind of determine how long Loxodons live, live in uh, this world. Because it's different, potentially, from the rest. So, but anyway, that is anyway. where we left off. Heck what yeah. fun. They chopped down a tree. <laughs> they did some incredible things. And now your laundry all and press, but it's both have them in a, self in a situation. That is interesting. Excuse the dog, he likes the bar. I got an item. Yeah, I yes. got an item. There's a few got, new I got two items. items. A few new artifacts. I got two items. Next I week, keep... Keep... I mean, keep up with our socials, because next week yes. we have a little surprise lined up for everyone. That's including little... me, because I have no idea what's going on, so... There's I have a, a little bit. Little fun thing. That's going to happen next week. So follow our Twitter. We announce a lot of things at that point. It may be around having an additional little person inside this area. That's in does a few things. Other than that, join us on Tuesday with Vaughn for Into the Madness. Wednesday with myself and Vaughn for Playing with Mutts. Thursday with myself and Skepti with uh, Keyforge. And Friday with Hate, Laugh, Love, with myself being in the hot seat, with mm -hmm. uh, Ethan telling me what I need to do, because that's him yeah. on that day. Speaking of which, you need to yes, <laughs> find a couple hours in the next five days in order to get that done. <laughs> I sure do. I Don't really pull do. a Jeff and I'm, I'm not gonna... <laughs> drop out in the last <laughs> second, because yeah. you I'm forgot. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. That subtle little... Uh... I've, I've narrowed it down from 12 films to three. So we're getting okay. there. <laughs> it's just the last Either seat way. I need to fill. Either way, after yes. that, Saturday, we may open up something different, something new, something else, something blue. Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. It'll be something. something or we could hard. not open at all and that. It's Saturday. We'll it's see what happens. It's exactly. <laughs> I've aside from that as well next week saturday or next week sunday excuse me do join us we do have something fun aligned in i am very excited for next week sunday it's going to be a, a whole round circle for me so it's going to be a lot it'd be so beautiful it's going to be great nice there may very be lovely. tears there may be tears <laughs> from Vaughn, of joy. not from myself yeah yeah of joy for now though we will see you all on tuesday 
with Vaughn playing Crypt of the Necromancer. Or Crypt of the Necrodancer. Necrodancer. Yeah, Crypt of the Necrodancer. Apt. Apt. We love you. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us. See you all around. Bye. Giggles and shouts